Thing. Hey, Roger, where are you going? I'm going to go pick up Shofu because for some reason he didn't drop the pin for our photo shoot. Japan time starts right now. <laughs> Welcome, welcome, everybody. This is the Zaza Time Podcast. I am your host, Lysander. Joining me this week, I have my co-host, a five in strength out of five, the number one main man, Shofu. What's going on, Shofu? Welcome, welcome. You know what I'm saying? Shout out Pokemon Zaza. Zeb has been waiting for this day. That's right. And coming in? With the four in intelligence is his highest stat. We have my main man, Zaza Zef. What Zaza, is up, Zef? Don't, don't, don't. <laughs> <laughs> Zaza no, Zef is don't, hard, don't, bro. Don't. No, no. Well, your oh mic is God. going crazy right now, but because you guys call me that shit. shit. Oh my God, <laughs> bro, is smoking through the mic. And Zaza Zef. Someone else who's always smoking through the mic is coming in it with a four out of five in charisma. Rounding out the Triforce of Awesome, we have the one, the hey, only, hey, 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 hey. Mr. Ricky Cocaine. Ricky Cocaine! <laughs> Kaka, Kaka, my boy. Now, we're going to get into it a little bit later, but y'all, man, not me. Okay. You know what? Speaking of Ricky Cocaine, I need, I, need, I, need, I need to bring something up real quick. Speaking of Ricky Cocaine, uh-huh. you know Wait, you said, uh, excuse I gotta, me. I got to show you something real quick. Hold on. Speaking what are we Ricky seeing? Cocaine. Uh-oh, what's Speaking this? Speaking of Ricky Cocaine. Wait, all rise, all rise, Speaking all of Ricky rise. Cocaine. We're doing this already? We just started. Speaking of Ricky Hello? Cocaine. It's finally Hello? back. Speaking Hello? of Hello? Ricky Judge Cocaine. Rogers base presiding. Join the Discord. I, I didn't yeah. even know that we were having a trial. The Honorable today. Judge Rogers base presiding. Uh, now, the charges what are brought is... today. Excuse me. No, order in the court. Now. Uh, As me and my co-counselor here, Shofu, would mm-hmm. like to attest, we mm-hmm. like to just present uh, the evidence here to you, uh, uh, Judge, Judge, Mr. Bass. Uh, okay. We have here um, some evidence what? of what we deem to be a, an offense punishable by death. Uh, my, by my, co- death. my colleague will take it away. My colleague will take it away. Now listen, now the, for the context, right? Okay. Drake, so <clears throat> something about Drake leaked. <laughs> oh, so so not too long ago, man. Okay. Drake? Like the rapper Drake? The rapper Drake, yes. Okay. Okay, that's all you need to know. Top five. And then, right? So the context is something about Drake leaked. Me, Tito, and a couple, a couple of the dudes is hanging out in Young Gods in my Discord. Right? We're chilling, having a blast, minding our goddamn business. And here comes Ricky Cocaine talking about some. I said, talking about. Why isn't it playing? It's at zero to zero. You got to reload it, question mark. He has 18 million tabs open? I do. Already, the evidence Don't is worry about that. Look, zero look out of zero. I mean, already to be wiped from existence. Bro, what happened to this clip, bro? What the? Try, try this, the this is kind of look. Is that the first or second clip? It's the but, one you wait, what's the problem, guys? I sent you two. Okay, where's the other one? Yo, Ricky uh, got his lawyers on that shit, bro. Oh, here it is. Well, speaking of no, someone who always on? got their lawyers no, on that shit, we have War Champ. Oh, hold on. There we go. Let's hear this. a lot of niggas in here. Okay, just quick, just quickly, quickly, quickly. Mm-hmm. Not gonna be Have quick. y'all niggas seen Drake's dick yet? Hey, oh, yo, oh, it's, oh, it's, oh, it's going oh, crazy. It's no, going crazy. Like, it's going crazy. Like, are you like, are we really? Like, are you really? Like, are you really serious? That was worded all types of wrong. Like, are you really serious? I had to be. Okay, well, I mean, that's here's the thing. I think the evidence. What do I say? I mean, I know. It's not done. I hate. And I mean, I fucking hate. Listen to me. <laughs> I hate Ricky Cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Ricky, bro, what's good with you, bro? Ricky Coquet, what's good with you, bro? I know you hear me speaking to you. Okay. And what the prosecution rests, you Your Honor. Like the prosecution. Let me play it again, just in case y'all didn't hear. <laughs> <laughs> he had, yo, he had dick on the dome, bro. Okay. He was pandering just quick, penis. Just quickly, quickly, quickly. Mm -hmm. Not gonna be Have y'all niggas seen Drake's dick yet? Hey, oh, yo, oh, oh, bro. Okay, why on. are we still listening? To <laughs> because it's that <laughs> unbelievable. Hold on, hold on, hold on. It's that hold fucking on. shocking hold on, hold on. that I still can't believe he said that to me. Your Honor, Your Honor, Your Honor. So, so is this? So is this what we're doing? Oh, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Defense, defense will have their turn. Your Honor. I'd like okay. to point out a couple right. things here. Okay. First of all, as you can see in this clip, um, there are multiple grown men in that call minding their own business. Not, and I'm, I'm in the middle of a smite game, so you can see he not only interrupted the conversation that was happening, but then he said, and I quote, it's going crazy. It's going have, no, 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 crazy. No, 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 that's not even the insane part. He said, have y'all you... seen Drake's dick yet? 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 Fuck you mean yet? Oh. I was never going to seek this okay. out. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> you said I, I, you I, said I, yet I, as, I, as if I, it was I, inevitable. I love this. You guys are taking the words that, that came out of my mouth out of context. First what? Of what? Who is doing, doing that? Okay. Who is what? doing what? that? I, I just am okay. curious. I need to know what is the context because I am genuinely confused. the context like, is Drake's fucking dick leaked I, onto I, the internet, Roger. No, 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 no. And everybody was looking at his meat. Why were you misrepresent the facts? When you misrepresent the the facts, you can't even. What the fuck is represent? What is that? I came. I I came into. Hey, yeah, I don't want to hear about you coming anywhere, came... Drake Dick. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're done. Oh my god! Well, I came into I came into the call, and all I did was I posed a question for the curious mind who would the seek curious out. mind who is. Why would I be why curious about that nigga face? Then the, report why? back to me. I never saw the leak. I know. Yeah. How could I? I'm blind. Report back to me. You, you just said glasses. Re You've never seen me without my glasses. You I'm blind. How could I see the leak? You have to report back to me. And right. I said, so you wanted a nigga to look at Drake me and report back to you. That's what you wanted. You're done. <laughs> Your Honor, I would like to motion. I would like to motion. Your Honor, um, I would like to motion here that we have we have a jury of our peers here. I would like to motion for their vote here. If that's all right with you, Your Honor. Yeah, I mean, proceed, I guess. I'm still okay. kind of flabbergasted, uh, uh, but I don't know. <laughs> a, a simple, uh, uh, a simple uh, uh. verdict of innocent or guilty. We'll start with McDareth. McDareth? Bro, he's fucking guilty. You don't need to ask you nobody. Are, uh, <laughs> the most unserious people. How do you hop on a group of people in a call and it actually comes out your mouth? McDareth, it was really... Like, it's a, you hear my it's, reaction. It's, it's, <laughs> it's a yeah. fleeting... Guilty? It's, okay, guilty? number one... Yeah, it's guilty. Yeah, okay, okay, Cody. No, no, the worst oh part gosh. about it, right? The worst part about it is that he commanded attention before he said anything. <sighs> yes, correct. He correct. commanded he attention. We all stopped talking to hear him ask about Drake's meat, bro. You gotta be fucking crazy. Because bro. you guys <laughs> were in, in, in engrossed in other conversation, first and foremost. I took, I didn't command attention. You guys had a conversation. Then I, when the, there was a pause, I, I, I said my hellos, and then I posed my question. It, let me know. Uh, co coast word? Coast word? This is nuts. Coast oh, word? it is not saying it. Yeah, it's not saying it. Why was I recording? Yeah, it's not saying it. Coast word? My, my vote is that we, uh, <laughs> this, this is the last time we do the judge bit ever, and yeah, uh, that too. Ricky should be doused <laughs> in barbecue sauce from McDonald's, locked in a dark room with six tigers, and let them sit there for 24 hours and uh, let them decide the fate. This is a witch hunt. I think, I think, the, I think the judgment is okay, but it has to be this concise. It has to be quick me. and concise. Yes, it's fine. And it's quick fun. and concise is not asking every person in here individually if he's guilty or not. So let's I mean, move on. It's like Ricky wanted Drake to be quick I'm, and concise. To, 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 be fair, to be fair, this is also going to serve as the intro because we kind of skipped over everybody because I know what I'm doing. But anyway, go ahead. We have to introduce anybody anyway. Go ahead. And we have a lot more people to go through. I mean, I, I already mean, said no, that War no, Champ is number five in intelligence. Once, but go ahead. You said That's to fun. save yourself for last. I was saying save yourself for last. Well, well, show, you well, literally show said who. save me for last. I was just save yourself for Drake. So you jumped the train on the bit that you already told me you wanted me to set up. So now you're throwing off my intro. You seized the opportunity. It was me, I'm sorry. All right. Well, someone else who just seized the opportunity to talk. We got Mike. What's going on, Mike? Welcome to the stream. Hey, everybody. Ricky, that wasn't you, was it? Unfortunately, it wasn't. Of soundboard. course it wasn't. With, in the age of AI, how could you possibly believe any kind of recording? They've been, my voice is all over the internet. Of course they have the data. It wasn't me, Mike. Of course it's right. You know, and speaking of, show, speaking of our... AI. Speaking of our resident AI expert, we have McDareth. What's going on, McDareth? Number one fan of AI on the planet. Welcome. Uh, nah, <laughs> but uh, doing well, what? you know. Why'd you hesitate? 
Yeah, I don't know why you hesitated. I, I think you're the number one fan of AI. Because I don't hate it, but I also understand the danger. You know someone who does hate AI, though, because he's not scummy? We got Coast. What's going on, Coast? Welcome, Coast. I haven't been able to sleep since they dropped the, the fucking video of Tifa and her titties hanging out in that what fucking fuck? video. What? Like, do you mean the... It's me exactly, bro. <laughs> But hey, something yeah, hello everyone, welcome. Yo, and metaphor... Am I just still cracking? No, you're sounding good. All right, yo, Ricky, why are you gay? <laughs> <laughs> why are you gay? <laughs> why are you gay? Who says I am gay? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> we are you know what? Someone, that's, that's someone who will never though. betray you, Ricky. Over. Someone who would never, 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 Ricky give you any low score on anything it's virum what's up virum how are you a resident good. highest came... scoring highest stat average individual on the show everybody loves virum i came back from vienna yesterday i had a great weekend i'm, I'm thriving i'm doing good life's good hope everyone in the chat is doing well hope you guys are doing well hope drake's doing well you in love what? Oh. doing well okay uh, well, Excellent. Tito, I was going to save you for last, but it sounds like Fidel is uh, deafened right now after the whole Drake thing. So, hello, Tito. Welcome. What's up? Warchamp is also here. I already introduced Warchamp. I said he has the highest intelligence stamp. Were you not listening? Or were you no. too engrossed no, with Drake's we were, meat? Ricky's video what? was playing. Ricky's video was playing. <laughs> oh, Ricky's video was playing. I understand. No, no one could hear me over the evidence being presented. Uh, well, I said you were a five out of five in terms of intelligence. We all voted. And actually, that's a good segue because you guys are going to get to vote too because we have these bonus Japan type cards coming out. <laughs> all of us have been voting on a scale of one to five in terms of strength, intelligence, dexterity, vitality, and charisma. We all put in our votes for our favorite uh, individuals, and now you guys are going to put in your votes as well. McDerris is going to open it up to the chat. McDerris is going to open it up to the comments section. You'll get your votes in, and then the final score tally of all of us plus all of your votes will decide on what our final stats are for our Japan time cards. Okay, so there you go. Wait, wait, hold up. Because <laughs> it's, uh, this one, is it for the cards? Unless we want it to be, I guess we can. Let's make it for the cards. Why not? All right. We're we're for the people by the people. Yeah, put it on the cards. All right. Yeah. yeah, it was gonna be on uh, something else that we haven't announced yet. Something. What was it? Yeah. What was the other thing we haven't announced yet? Yeah, fuck it. Uh, so coming with your orders to be like a <laughs> that's a bunch of like special things, so, like inside stuff from the show, the pictures from like the twelve days, little stuff about favorite members, favorite Pokemon, sh like favorite episode of the show. Favorite anime, favorite game, uh, stuff yes. like that. We're not showing so, that stuff yet, though. I don't. Think. No, no, not fully showing it, but just like there's gonna be in your orders. So when you get your orders in the box, will be a yeah. pack that has all this stuff. Can we show the cards? The one you put in the chat. I fuck with it. What? Yeah. We could show the cards. Also, yeah, welcome, just... Fidel. I tried introducing you, hey, but man. you were gone. What's going on? Also, uh, we were looking at your votes. You gave Ricky all ones. Yeah, yeah, I did, I did, I did, I did, I did. After, hey, uh, I think after learning this, I don't. Thing, it's I, don't. I think Ricky having one on all stats is what makes him a powerful being. Is he's an unknown? It's like think of it as like question mark, question mark, question mark. Mm. Ah, mm. interesting. Exactly. That's, that's, he's like that's an how you meant it. Even even yeah, though course, mathematically bro. it pushes my score down. And no, 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 your bro, quantitative I would never, analysis. No, I, would never, I, I would never whore you like that. Okay, you're a himmy. Okay, oh, you got the question mark, question okay. mark, question mark, and now, of course, bro, of course, no, come on, man, please. Mm. Well, so, okay, it's a good thing that we can, we, I can edit my scores. No. I feel the same about you, Fidel. So all the fives that yeah, I gave you, you that stopped you from uh -huh. going down to two, I'm changing it back what? to one. Well, Hold does on. that automatically, no, you when you change the scores, does it automatically change? Yeah, it, it will update, yes. Oh, no, that's no, awesome. Oh, no, right. interesting. Wait, don't change the scores, I got it, I got it, okay. Huh. I thought we could change I'm the sick. score. I mean, it's a part of the happening. You would need permission this to change stuff on that weird. form, and it's pretty much just me and so if they change, I know who to go after. Uh, I understand. I understand. All right. Well, I guess we won't be changing anything. But you know somebody who did change something? Riot. Uh -huh. They changed the name of Project L to one of the worst names in the history of video gaming. Sick, double Knockout. All right. What? No, if it was God's Double Knockout, order, I wouldn't even be mad. Is that what it's called? If it was Double, double knockout, knockout, I wouldn't even be mad. Double Knockout would be a I've good just, name. I've better. just been calling it Double Kill, so, yeah. Oh, I didn't even realize it was supposed to mean Double Knockout. Oh. That's what it's supposed to mean, but no one's going to read it. We're going to read it as XKO. 
No, no, I read it as 2KO. Like, you know how you don't read the X in Hunter Hunter? You would just yeah. say, like, 2KO. Oh, like 2KO. 2KO. oh, oh I see. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And said it's pronounced 2XKO. So, well, I'm not going to say that. What? Yeah. What's, what's, said... what's wrong with an extra syllable? It just seems weird. Like, it doesn't it's, say anything doesn't about League of Legends. Term, not a, it doesn't like it doesn't give KO. you any idea of what the game actually is. It just seems like a generic AI made up name. Yeah, it's like Elon Musk's I, other okay, child. I, okay, I kind of feel that. I kind of feel that. Like if you're gonna Why make a fighting game, Del? I don't know. Uh huh. Project Owl was always a temp name. But I I don't know. I thought like League of Champions or something, or like League of Fighters or something. League no, of Champions. That sounds like a garbage you know. mobile game. People have theorized that they're. They, the reason that they avoided like league branding it is because it's going to have more than just league characters eventually. Mm. It, I wouldn't be surprised if they turn this into like Riot Smash Bros. Yeah. But like as a fighting game. And like it also makes it easier for them to do guest characters. I guess of. that's true. Yeah. If they want to do like Valorant characters or something, they could throw them in there. Yeah. I see. Maybe. Uh, it's, I don't know. it's weird because like the game obviously still looks good, but the name change mm. itself to me instantly made me like less interested in it which i know is stupid because it's just a name and it's not the quality of the game but it makes me think less of it it's not stupid okay but nobody nobody says super smash brothers ultimate um the entire title it, like it's gonna get shortened people if Stay people ultimate. don't yeah. generally like but, it but ricky where does it get then shortened we can to? just shorten it ourselves where does it get ultimate? Well, how do we shorten it what is it just two what? What? i'm playing You're two i'm not gonna call it two <laughs> no one's saying two so this is what I was saying when like the when the reveal first happened so there's is no that solutions with you guys. this Bye. this name is garbage. It sucks as a name. It has no tie to League IP, which is like obviously the one thing that like they should be leveraging as much as possible unless they are deliberately avoiding it being League branded because they want to do Valorant characters, whatever. It's like this name, it sucks as a name. It's not leaning on the existing leverage. So to me, this name feels like it was fucking engineered in a lab to not be shortened beyond four syllables in any reasonable way and still know what the fuck you're talking about. What would the point of that be, though? Like, why would they do that? They want to be the longest name out of anyone's mouth because every single other fighting game gets shortened to two syllables or less, except KOF. This Everything is, is blaze blue, is GG, conspiracy? War MK. Champ? What? What are we talking about? Right like, now? Every single fucking fighting game, SF, like they all get shortened to two syllables. This feels like it was engineered in a lab to be four syllables yeah, okay. and nothing dude, else dude. mattered. Nothing else mattered. The, the eye on the dollar, it's all connected. They want to be okay, yeah. they, they want to be the <laughs> longest name out of people's mouths when they're talking about fighting games. Oh no, the silence is 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 how I feel about this conspiracy. Uh, uh, just, you just know I'm right. You have no rebuttal. No, no, my rebuttal is that it's stupid as fuck. Wrong. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good what, 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 you what, got what, your what, a, what a great what a great, <laughs> back and forth that was. what a great <laughs> high quality conversation. That you know was. what else is a also real really dialogue. stupid. Really nuanced. You know what else is really stupid? Earlier today, Jeff Keeley tweeted out that there's this thing called Game Sense oh AI that releases oh. real sense alongside your gameplay. This is a real thing, by the way, listeners. Yeah. Uh, including smells of gunfire, explosions, racing storm, and forest. Napalm. As well as paid DLC scents that include napalm, human exertion, ocean, and golf course. Now, human exertion is bizarre. You want to personally smell sweat so if I, yeah, in your hey, house? Hey, bro, and you're paying I for see it? You playing, no, no, no. If I see you playing NBA and you got that shit hooked up, I'm calling the FBI. It's definitely like sweat, but I saw motherfuckers going, I can't wait to smell playing so any sports shit. Game. And I'm like, hello? Yeah, I definitely read that wrong the first time. Oh, my. You read it as human excretion, like poop. Yep. <laughs> yeah, no, it's not poop. <laughs> yeah. I mean, to be fair, I wouldn't be like I wouldn't put it past them to make poop DLC at some point, you know, with extra added corn or something like that. Um, mm. Speaking of poop, we could talk about the Sony news. So Sony laid off nine hundred employees. <laughs> uh, they closed their entire. It was a crazy segue. Closed their entire <laughs> London <laughs> studio. Uh, Insomniac, Naughty Dog, Guerrilla Games, and Fire Sprite. Uh, are all going to be impacted by these layoffs. And the craziest thing about this is Jim Ryan, a week ago, literally visited one of the studios that shut down and took a picture with the employees. No, he, he was with the entire London studio, like the entire the thing that got entirely shut down. Truly absurd. And he definitely knew that it was getting shut down when he took that picture smiling with all of them. Oh, 100%. <laughs> so fucked. 
I mean, these layoffs just continue. I feel like every single one gonna, of these shows they're, is they're still going to keep happening. Yeah, I'm I sure agree. They yep. It's a problem. Well, what are we going to do about it? Uh, Nothing. Not people, much we it, can it's, do, it's, to be it's honest. It's an oversaturated market. People need to stop being and, fucking artists and pick up a hammer. That's the only solution. <laughs> My God. No, he's a right. hammer? He's right. Yeah, bro. We, like more. Nobody, nobody yeah, wants bro. to say he's right. <laughs> No, a lot right. of it comes down to the fact that um, obviously during COVID there was a huge boom in the like the gaming industry because everyone's playing games because they were inside, and now that that kind of exponential growth is not continuing to that degree, but you know, stock in investors are greedy bastards. Sure, they still want to see those numbers match <laughs> what we had before, but that's obviously not going to happen. But so the compromise there is to get rid of people so that it looks like the numbers are still going up to a similarly equivalent degree. Speaking of getting ridden, people, uh, it says Nintendo is now suing the creators of the everything Twitch today. emulator Yuzu. I'm going through all these news stories because there's interesting yeah, stuff this week. This. So apparently Nintendo is suing the creators of Yuzu and they bring up in the documents that uh, Yuzu apparently illegally circumvented Nintendo's software encryption and they specifically cite the sales of Breath of the Wild saying that, uh, excuse me, not Breath of the Wild, Tears of the Kingdom, saying that it was unlawfully distributed a week and a half before its release and downloaded over one million times and made available for lawful purchase i, I can't um, even be mad about it because people were being crazy like there were people were downloading the game was out stuff. yeah there was a lot and, of stuff the week and before. uh yuzu was was going out of their way to release performance fixes like hour one of the leak happening not even when the game came out i mean the interesting thing about this is like what are the repercussions of this in it, terms it, of emulation nothing, or in terms it, of it's fully possible nothing happens, but yeah, uh, like I, I don't know, just don't do what they did. Don't, <laughs> I guess, because they, they didn't like go they after any other emulated sales. Apparently, it said it was downloaded over Yuzu? one million times because of illegally yeah. downloaded software yeah. that was played on Yuzu. Yeah, because yeah, you think, yeah, but that's a stupid people... number because there's a whole study about yeah. how piracy actually helps uh video games sales and just sales of media in general because there are a ton of people who will pirate something and then like after like three hours they're like okay i like this and then buy it right so it's hard it's hard to say that a million people didn't buy the game because they downloaded it it's also hard where in countries that people literally can't afford to do it because the prices are so exorbitantly high like canada yeah. Yeah. No, like fuck so it. They're like not even Canada. Anyways. Like there's places in South America where, where like Brazil's a big one, yeah. Uh, yeah, I know, yeah, yeah, I know Brazil's like a game can be like two hundred and fifty dollars or some shit. I know it's crazy in Australia too. I'm sure uh, a lot of people have gotten clips and shit of uh the pirate software guy because his stuff's all over the place right now. But he's talked about how their game they did like regional pricing for Brazil, where they're in like their game is normally like five dollars or something and they did regional pricing so it costs like a dollar in brazil and now it's like talking about it's like the the region that they've gotten like the most sales from like in actual dollar amounts just like on like on a scale level not just like number of people that bought the game like actual amount of money that they got is like brazil is their their highest selling region because they just made the game like affordable there i just think it's amazing of like i mean PS4, PS5, and Series X are basically just PCs, but like the the Switch is still pretty new. To have an emulator already working on a modern console is like unheard of. Right. Normally, emulators roll around. I could be just wrong about this, but I feel like normally emulators roll around after the console cycle's like ended and you're on the next one. And Not for Nintendo, though. Nintendo people get that shit frame what? They get a frame like negative twelve. What do you mean? Yeah, it's one of the that's one Nintendo of the things. The first priority is getting no, like one of the things. Uh, one of the things in this lawsuit talks about how like people that were using the emulator got to play Tears of the Kingdom like seven days early or something because that was the big thing. Off yeah, the e got crashed right. and they put it up there. Yeah, right, like right. people were people were playing the game on emulator before it was even out for normal people. Something like this happened a long time ago. Roger will remember because it affected him. Uh, when Superstar Saga for the 3DS leaked yes. about two weeks early, yep, I think yep. they axed pretty much everyone in the Ambassador program 
They did. Besides like oh. 10 people. Yeah. And actually, even then mm. they had to rebuild it because they, I think they pretty much axed all of us. It was just a thing where then like people were oh, invited fuck. back that they had worked with for a long time. Because they realized how big of a right. problem it was. But it was right. super. It was Star always, Star? all the leaks was, were always. From it was either copies. super, was it Superstar Saga or Inside Story? It was one of the Mario and the Luigi games. It, sure. it was Superstar Saga. Um, because it was oh, the first Mario right, the remake. Anyway. Right, 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 right. Yeah. It was the remake of Superstar. And, uh, right. It was near. Su it was near Sun and Moon too, because Sun and Moon also leaked crazy early yeah. from another. And they were copy. basically able to track that it was somebody who got a copy early, and they didn't know who it was, but they knew that it was on the list of codes that were distributed to people who, I, either codes or like physical copies. I think even because after that incident, we stopped getting early stuff altogether, barring like the launch yeah. of the Switch. I think launch of the Switch was a weird exception where like the switch was given to some of us in like February before it came out we in March. And then uh, they gave us like arms and Mario Odyssey or something. But after that first year of the switch, it went back to normal. We're like, Nope, you're not getting it until the day it actually launches. No more preview builds. Um, even for a lot of media outlets that would get them early, they stopped getting them early too. So yeah, one bad up or ruin the whole bunch. Yeah. That this, uh, a less extreme version, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Well, while we are on the topic of Nintendo, do you guys want to jump to the Nintendo Direct that happened since the last show? I don't even, like, I haven't watched it. I've More. just heard things on Twitter. Well, let's, I mean, <clears> we <throat> should watch it because there's a lot of stuff here. I'll drop this in the chat. Show you could put it up on screen. We can, can go we one by one. Can talk about the discrimination that us Americans faced uh, as far as these Nintendo Directs were concerned? Oh, you're talking about Mother 3? I'm talking about every... There was fucking eight fucking games that I didn't see in the American one. <laughs> well, the only... To be fair, the only ones that were really missing were the RPG game, the little... Uh, the, the one that was based off the 3DS game. Oh, the guitar there was game, bro. The Denpamen, the guitar game. There's like a guitar game where you have the peripheral that teaches you how to play guitar. That shit's fine. And then, and then Mother 3. Those were the big three. You uh, said the guitar game, Aspire? You were game, excited bro. about that? Bro, it has its own controller. That shit was sick, bro. And it's like it comes. Would in you a, have gotten it? It comes in a bundle with the game, of course. What's the guitar game? It's it basically a, teaches you how to play guitar. It's a, it's a guitar lesson game, and they made an entire Wait, controller uh, Wait, are you guys for the about game. Locksmith? No, 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 no. No, this is a game. Here, I'll pull up the direct for you, Shofu. It's like different. Fisher Price Rocksmith. Yeah. Okay. It basically, the reason why it didn't it come to like North Rocksmith. America. No, the, re the reason why it didn't come to North America, because I looked into this a little bit, is licensing stuff. Because almost all the songs that are in there are, like, Japanese songs that they would have to go through a bunch of different hoops to actually get the licensing for. Um, if I pull this up real quick, I don't know why I can't find the Japanese page where you guys can see the trailer for it, but... Uh, man, why is none of this available? What the heck? Oh, here we go. All right, here you go, Shofu. There's the Japanese one. I dropped it in chat for you. And the guitar game comes in, I think it's around like three or four minutes in. Oh no, it's actually pretty far in. Whoa, the Japanese Direct, I'm scrubbing through this. All the announcements are out of order in this one. Out of Ender order. Magnolia's way later? Yeah, they're like totally out of order. How do you know ours isn't out of order? Uh, I mean, it could be. It very well could be. Yeah, the guitar game is at cared about 13, this one way more. <laughs> 13 minute, 21 second mark is where the trailer is at. That's the 13, 21. Game? Yep. Bro, Zef, look at this shit, bro. This shit's fire. Huh? Look at this. Oh, wait, I gotta go live in here. Oh, I am live. Okay. Look at this game. Car life. I don't know if you've seen this or not, but... uh. So there's basically Joy-Cons that you plug into the <clears throat> controller adapter thing, and it teaches you how to play. Okay. Let's see if it's showing up on screen. Oh, there we go. Is that yeah. it? Just pulled it up. No, that's not the Yeah, this is going to be the game. Oh, yeah, I was about yeah. to say, what the no, hell? Like guitar, but you'll see. It looks like a real guitar. That would be wild if it sold you a guitar. Oh. That shit's fire to me. I don't know why it's fired me that they made a controller. No, no, this is smart. No, I, 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 I like I think the they're cool. Okay. And he comes bundled with the game. Too. Are they making use of the camera? Or, I, I can't even tell. Uh, I think it's the IR pointer, like, watches where your hands are or something. Yeah, it looks like it's making use of one of the IR things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is cool. This is cool. Why wouldn't this be a worldwide... Why is this Japan only? Again, I think it's because of the licensing of the songs. Like, there's some basic ones that are in there once it actually gives the song list, but there's uh, a lot of them that are actually, like, 
They're Japanese songs, and most of the music are DLC packs. So, like, you have to pay extra to basically learn how to play certain songs. So, like, this Happy Birthday that's playing on screen, for example, that's a DLC pack. It doesn't just, like, happen for free. You have to buy the song Happy Birthday, and it teaches you how to play it. I'd love to see how far they could take this with other instruments. Like drums. I mean, it would be really cool. Or cello would be awesome. I would love a cello here. Drums would be such a bad idea. Cello would be yeah. fantastic, man. Especially because it's only the well, top part of the cello. You wouldn't need the full thing. Drums would be a bad oh, idea, but they also made me... I'm quite... <laughs> Wait, Are so you it'd left? Be like a, it'd be like a controller, so like, wouldn't it be like a real cello, you know? So you don't have to like actually <laughs> no. pay for I mean, for you could break it cello. and you wouldn't have to pay for anything. Right. It would just already come with it. It's kind of like a fake cello. Like you, a, you, almost like, right. a, you, like, like a prop. You wouldn't have to uh, shell out to hundred, a like a prop. over $120. 120 <laughs> I think 160. For a broken I, think, I think it's about 160, and I think you also have to get your roommates to pay oh. for it as well. Yeah. I was gonna say like, oh, the little cello is not okay. that much, is it? I'm sorry. What'd you say, Warchip? I was gonna say like I don't. Real cellos aren't that much, right? Like a, a real no, cello, not. like the, like an actual no, real no. one that's not a prop. I how guess. much? I'm gonna look this up. It's only like two hundred dollars. No, no, no. How much is a cello? A cello. You can get a full size cello for 149 dollars on uh, on Amazon. Like Full a real one, that's not a beginner $149. cello. $149. Those well, prices were good 10 years ago? I mean, well, I mean, to be fair, I'm looking on here. There's one that's it's a, a Gaffino cello, and, and this actually is a prop. It says $90,000 mm. on Metzler violin. So that's Bro, you pretty know expensive. What instrument yeah. costs a fucking crazy mm. amount is a saxophone. That shit is nuts. How much is. Let's look up saxophone pricing. Yeah. Real brass quick. instruments Saxophone are very price expensive. Thing. Well, it technically, so that's a woodwind. Yeah. Saxophone's woodwind, not a brass instrument. But uh, yeah, it says the Yamaha Custom Alto Saxophone. This is like the highest one that it goes as of right now. This is five thousand three hundred. Um, yeah. But you can get a regular, like beginner saxophone, an alto saxophone for two hundred. And on average, uh, for the Yamaha, it's a thousand one hundred. So pretty decent compared to the cello, I think. For a saxophone. Yeah, thousand one hundred on Amazon for a good I, Yamaha. I, yeah. I, I'm, what I was saying is, I think Alto brass sex. instruments are, are especially. Well, well brass. I mean, like if you look up tuba pricing, yeah, tuba is going to be pretty. Like even expensive. Like, but even like a trumpet, like a. Bass a saxophone trumpet. is still made out of brass. Well, it's considered a woodwind, though. I mean, it's it's cheaper. Yeah. No, it looks down here. You can get a trumpet. You can get a trumpet for cheaper than a saxophone. Oh really? Yeah. Yeah. The, the saxophone, saxophone was one thousand one hundred. Single reed woodwind instrument, usually yeah. made yeah. of brass. This it is has, fucked it, up. Yeah, it has a reed, so that's that's the only reason why it's considered a, a woodwind, I think. You know what else was kind of effed mm -hmm. up? You know what's left? The fact that we didn't get any Silk Song news in this whole partner showcase. Yeah, that was what was going weird. on with that? Have what's they ever talked about it again? Like, what, what's good? With uh, the last time we saw it was on an Xbox presentation. This was back in 2022, where they said it's coming out in the next 12 months, and we heard nothing else since. Awesome. Love that. Yeah. Like Dragon Quest Three. That's cool. That's right. But while we're on the topic of Xbox, let's actually start with the Partner Showcase news, because there was quite a bit of Partner Showcase news. We got the name of one of the games that Xbox is going to be porting on over to Nintendo, uh, and it is Grounded. They are bringing over Grounded. Looks pretty bad. Looks pretty bad. Certainly not as ugly as the other game we're bringing over, which is Pentiments. That's coming over to a Pentiment, the one we looked at last stream. Pentiment looks like ass, bro. I don't know why they decided to port that game. Very ugly game. Very, very ugly. Very ugly game. I agree. I agree. I gotta ask no, you though, you know, Fidel, what were you most excited about in this partner showcase? Because I know there's a game that was in here that you've been playing recently. Yes, uh, for me, well, there were two announcements I was very happy about. I was very happy about Monkey Ball. I'm a big Monkey right. Ball fan. Brand new Monkey Ball, And of Ball, course, by the way. yeah, of course. Brand new, first new one in a while, because the last two were, it was the remake of the Wii one, and then it was the HD trilogy. So, uh... Now, but yeah, Penny's Big Breakaway was the other big thing that dropped, and I've been yeah, playing yeah, that. Boy. You sure? I'll be continuing it tomorrow. I'm like uh, a few worlds in. I really like it. A lot of people, I think, expected it to be Sonic-like because it's the Mania team. Uh, and it really isn't at all. I The way I described it is it's kind of like Lost World and uh, Sonic Lost World and 3D World oh, okay, together. Okay, okay. I think that's, it's that's really, it's, it reminds me actually it's very much of, its um, own thing. <clears throat> Yeah, yeah, it's like I, a, it's kind of like, a hybrid of those, but also with a yeah. bit of like Kirby's, I think it has inspiration um, from things, Man. but like, I I can't think of a game that feels like it. For sure, I love yeah. the visual style. I think is great. Like looking at yeah, the actual the visual style is peak. Is yeah, 
for sure. I think the thing about the game is it's one of those platformers where I think the problem, the benefit and problem is it has a really high learning curve. And it, when when you learn it, it's fun. Like once you're air dashing, getting down into like a roll movement, into an aerial spin, like once you do that stuff, it's really fun. But if you're just trying to play the level as a normal platformer, it that's when it gets a little frustrating. Yeah. But it's so it's who, when you learn the game that I feel like you get a lot of the fun out of it, to be honest. So who who has actually been playing it? Mike, I think you've been playing it. Vera, yeah, you said you were playing it? it? So yeah, I've, I've, I've only just spotted it though. Got it. I'm not got talking it, got about it because I don't like it that much. I don't want to be a hater. You can be a hater. I mean, there's nothing wrong. No, with I mean, no. I get it. I get it. I know a lot of people no. that don't. That, I that have, I'm actually genuinely curious because I've seen nothing but positive things. I was just curious what you don't like about it. I don't know. I felt like I, I'm, I'm like, I'm, I'm, 3D platformers are probably my best genre. So I picked up like the mechanics and stuff really fast, and then I felt uh. like. The whole game was just going to be a lot of the same thing after the first yeah. couple levels. Um, it gets and better, I, I kind of wish the, 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 the combo system, one thing I wish about it was like, I wish it had like a, like a, like almost like a scale yes. move thing because I can just do jump, dash, land on wheels, jump, dash, I agree. land on wheels, jump. Like, you I shouldn't be you. able to do the same yeah. thing. Yeah. That's the thing I was well, thinking I was about. talking there... about this, yeah. Is there Never anything in the, in the in the score system that stops you from just getting to the end of the level and just doing combos until you no, reach the no. max score? I, I, I've That's done it in no. place. Not good. <laughs> I was That's saying really that on Twitter that like my issue with the com like the combo system is I feel like there's no incentive to do it besides like the end goal yeah. like combo score. But, like I wish there was like a ranking meter next to me while mm. I was getting a combo. Yeah. Like that would have been yeah, cool. Like, you don't, don't want to just do them for the purpose of being stylish. You yeah, exactly. Like I, I wish that. there was a visual flair for doing them, or even you gain a lot of speed when you're doing a high combo. Like something that yeah, I thought entices you, would you to keep something. the combo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there needed to be some sort just, of ranking yeah. system to like judge you based on how you actually do in the level. It's just it's not a ranking system. It's just a score bar that you can fill up. And you can just fill yeah. it up by just doing mm. combos at the end of the stage. I, I just um, still want to try it because it looks great. No, it is. It's I fun. Kinda... Like I said, when you get the hang of it, it's fun. Even me on stream, like I was enjoying it. The, the first few levels, I was kind of like, okay, I'm I'm not feeling this too much. But mm. the more I played, the more I, I enjoyed it for sure. I do kind of... I, I kind of have the same feeling as F when it came to like the levels where you just kind of doing the same thing over and over again uh it gives me very like obstacle course feel of a platformer Ooh. compared to like an adventure type platformer like i think about mario odyssey or even like 3d world to an extent and like levels on top of having fun level design kind of take you through a bunch of different moods and vibes what is, Whereas is this, this is whole just, game look kind of circusy, like how it looks in the yeah. or other other areas? It has, it has like the, a very similar visual. The aesthetic, aesthetic reminds me of, uh, it reminds me of, like, uh, not first part. Well, I guess first, well, I don't know, like second, third party N sixty four platformers, like Chameleon Twist and shit. So that's yeah. actually that's crazy. You said Chameleon Twist because that was initially what I thought upon watching people play it. Is some of the swinging mechanics and like the actual camera angle reminded me a lot of that game. And I'm somebody who like I've said this even that on the show pretty before. Cool. Yeah, I'm not huge on platformers. I'm just not. But that specific era of platformer, like the N64 3D platformer, things like Mario 64, Banjo Kazooie, Donkey Kong 64, Chameleon Twist, whatever. Those I actually do like. Um, yeah. And so that's kind of what, like, obviously there's a lot of stuff to play right now between Final Fantasy Rebirth and Unicorn Overlord and Side Order, which we'll talk about. And like, well, just, just just there's a lot of those games like, are out, are they? Uh, you are right. Excuse me. Let me take that <laughs> back for a second. Those games are not out yet. Correct. Um, but there's a lot of things to play. There's, there's a lot of things to play. And so I do want to find time to play it, but I just haven't had the opportunity. But I really do want to play it at some point. It looks cool. I definitely still, I think it's still worth it. I think Penny as just like a platforming character, I think she controls really great. She's a lot of fun to move around with. Um, but I definitely, as I was playing through it, I definitely got the feeling where once I completed a level, I immediately forgot everything that happened in that level. Like the level design isn't really that memorable. memorable. 
I get that. It's it's fun. It's like fun platforming challenges, but there's not like a thing to grab onto with the levels. Fun in the moment without really like resonating yeah. long term. Yeah. Uh, boss fights are also not that great. How's the there's music? not that many, so it's fine. Is the music good? Music's excellent. Yeah. Yeah. I love See, that's kind of all I care about. I feel Kilo's like I play, I play most of the it's, modern Sonic games for music anyway, so if the music is good... Yeah, then, it's, it's okay. T. Lopes working on most of the soundtrack, a couple nice. of others as well. And it's, yeah, it's very good. Well, right on. All right, Penny's Big Breakaway. While we're actually here, because there's other partner showcase stuff I want to talk about, but we're kind of in the realm of what you've been playing, and I don't know when else it's going to come up later in the show, because I know we're going to have a big Pokemon talk later. I do want to briefly ask if any of the rest of you have played Side Order yet. Yes. yes. Splatoon 3 Side Order. General thoughts Ooh. to everybody. I, I want to say right off the top, um, this was the event that I was at a couple weeks ago on the show where I mentioned I was at a Nintendo event and I couldn't talk about it yet. This was the game. Oh, um, so you got to try it. So I got to try this a couple weeks ago, and I just thought it was so cool that it's basically like Splatoon Hades. <laughs> like that it's a yeah, roguelike. It's, it's, it's like Within a roguelike, yeah. Splatoon, it's awesome. And I'm not somebody who really goes back and plays the multiplayer, but I love single-player Splatoon stuff. I think Octo Expansion was a lot of fun. And I actually adore side order it's really good i found myself already on my sixth pallet going up the tower now i think i'm probably going to end up 100 percenting this um i'm having a blast with it i think the reward system is really good with the little mem bucks and how you can unlock different things i like the ability to then you know change your re-rolls and then buy different items while you're going up the tower make these different loadouts that work well with your weapon i just think it's a lot of fun i'm having yeah. a good time with it how about everybody I else did I've really been doing it. Haiti. <laughs> it is. Yeah, I mean, do you have you ever played Splatoon before, Tito? I, yeah, yeah. Do you I don't like know if it's Hades, fair, obviously. I don't. Yeah, I don't know if it's fair to compare it to Hades. Like, it, it like it's a roguelike. I, I mean, but I think. I mean, I'm a sucker for a roguelike in general. That's what I'm so, saying. I think yeah. you would like this actually. It's it's a fun I like game Splatoon, mode. I just. I, 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 go ahead. No, go ahead. No, no, no. Oh, I was just gonna say I, I I like Splatoon. It's just I I I want to turn on my Switch as little as possible. That's why. I understand that. What were you gonna say, Warchamp? Yeah, I've had a lot of fun with it. Um, I wasn't following it too closely just for a variety of reasons. Um, not the least of which being my feelings about Splatoon and inputs. Uh, but that really only affects multiplayer because that's the only time where I start to care. Uh, so I've had a lot of fun with the DLC. I was kind of uh i don't want to get into too much spoiler talk but um there's a point where they kind of just like um, there are some levels where they'll give you like all of a certain color of powers right ah, right, right, right. Um, and there's a there's a point where you you get end up getting for a brief time literally every power up at once and at that point it feels like a roguelike build like where just sh like shit is insane you're doing everything and stuff is exploding and it's fantastic I was I kind of like want that out of a roguelike usually and I didn't get that with side order but I have still had a lot of fun with side order because mm. I think even though you're not ending up with like a super insane crazy fucked up build that like just shreds through like everything on the screen yeah. you still end up with some very interesting things See, that, I feel like I feel like maybe you just didn't get the gameplay. right. Did you ever? Did you unlock the thing where you can re-roll your floors oh, yeah. and re? I, I, I have. I've cleared with every pallet except one. Oh wow! Okay, yeah, because I, I feel like hacks unlocked. It like, gives I've... me. It gives me that roguelike feel when you're able to re-roll and you're able to build to that weapon. So like when I was doing the charger one, for example, I did one where like I dropped my charge speed where it was almost instant and I covered up a bunch of ink and I made like the, the sticky ink floor and the poison ink floor. So yeah. everybody was getting damaged and moving really slowly and I would just pick them off one by one. That's one of the, that's one of the things that happens is that like if you can max out a particular chip, right, that, right. that last step is usually like a fucking massive one. Like the charger, And I feel like that's like, that you the, get that the, from the vending machine floors because once you're able to re roll on the vending machine floor yeah. and you find one color that you know you can max out from other ones that you've already gotten i feel like that's when you sort of get to that point yeah but i i get to what you're saying though because you don't get to that pretty Very much often. until after you beat the game at least once yeah and, it, and even after you beat the game like you you only ever kind of max out like one chip that way you, you never yeah. really get like a an insane build where 
Cause so like, for example, the charger, you, you know, you start with like the normal charging speed and you can get a chip and like the first chip drops it to like a 0.9 and then it drops to like 0.8 and then it drops to 0.7 and then it's like 0 0.67, 0 0.64, 0 0.6. And then like the very last chip just drops it to zero. Like the charger is just instant charge once you get that last chip. And that, that that's the kind of crazy shit that I was kind of hoping and that it would be like tuned around so that by the time you get to the very later floors, you would just have this like batshit insane build but the game would still kind of be a challenge at that point. Um, and if you do, you can do a no hack run to make the game a bit more challenging, but it also makes the likelihood of you being able to pull off something like that basically impossible because you're so reliant on like rerolling the vending machine and like the dual chip stuff. Like the, the tower, like 30 floors just isn't enough for it, I think. And like 30 chips just isn't enough for it. But despite all of that, like that's what I went in hoping for. I wanted a roguelike where shit, like you just end up with a crazy build by the end of it. You don't get that. But I still think it's extremely fun. I was surprised at how much I enjoyed it despite it not being that way. Yeah. Mike, did you actually end up beating it since you were streaming earlier? Yeah, I did end up beating it. Oh, very you did? Next round. Oh, great. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. Fantastic, fantastic. So what eventually did you end up using for your run to get up the tower? Oh, uh, the same one you were watching, the, the default splatling. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, I, I use it a lot for the just the range. Honestly, the, the pearl upgrades went crazy for me that run. Oh yeah. Those drone those drone upgrades, if you find a way to like max out the slots and you just basically get all the little upgrades. You do burst bombs and ink zookas or whatever. She will just decimate half the floors for you, even if you don't have a yeah. particularly good weapon. That is, ink strike. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yes. that ink strike is incredible. That is the thing that Nintendo has done very well, because at the end of the day, this is still like a game for kids. They yeah, have still yeah, yeah. made this. They have made like a roguelike that is still very approachable to like someone who's bad at the game. Like you Definitely. can you can max out on the drone stuff. There is certain chips that are very powerful, like if you're not especially good at the game that can still give you a build that like allows you to succeed very well like plus you, know, you can use the mem bucks to, not, the, not the mem bucks yeah. i was gonna say the the pearls to like upgrade your armor permanently and upgrade your yeah, life you can get damage you reduction you can get lives yeah yeah there's, for there's, sure it's it, it, they've almost like gamified like accessibility settings in a way because every time you do a run you do get a little bit of progress towards like making the game easier for yourself right right, right. which is another great thing because in order to 100 percent this mode you have to like you have to clear it 12 times but every time you clear, if you so choose, like it's not forced upon you, you can like buy hacks to make it easier. Right. And you can turn that stuff off after you buy it too, which is another yeah, great thing. That, love they, that. that is also really cool. Yeah. yeah. Or like the risk reward thing that you eventually get where you can go all the way up and you'll get way more men bucks. But if you don't, or it's like pearls or whatever. And then if you end up losing beforehand, you don't get anything. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. They, they've done a very good job of it. And like something that I've seen a lot of like Splatoon content creators doing is that they're trying to clear with every pallet with zero hacks there are i i, I don't even mean some this of those... like as a slight at all i genuinely i mean this from the bottom of my heart i did not know there were splatoon content creators oh yeah there's lots of people like there's there's wow. still splatoon tournaments all the time I mean, that like, makes sense. I, like obviously i know there's splatoon players yep. but i cannot think of a person who makes videos on just splatoon i didn't uh, know that exists content That's creation cool. is out more than just videos no i know i know that's what man that's cool i gotta look up some splatoon content creators yeah that's be a dude i was out. i was watching nine whole grains the other day he's a homie yeah i was gonna say give Everyone. some shout outs because I'll, I'll tune into some people yeah shout outs to uh squidboards.com squidboards is that still affiliated with smashboards sure is right on all right squidboards uh, well, let's continue with the with the partner showcase then, because there still is a lot of stuff that we got to get through. Uh, we had Grounded. We had that Ender Magnolia game, which I guess is a sequel to another game. I had never seen this before. I think visually it looks really pretty. Comes out relatively soon. Uh, Ender Magnolia Bloom in the Mist. So it's going to be available in 2024. Most likely the first half of 20, uh, 2024, based on what they said during this video. So that was kind of neat. Uh, Unicorn Overlord got a demo, which is the new tactics game from Vanillaware. Uh, I've actually been playing this, and I'm allowed to talk about it, which is cool. Uh, mostly yeah, because the so demo cool. is out. It is awesome. It is very, nice. very good. So I've played about 10 hours at this point. Uh, I would say if any of you are remotely interested in strategy games or um, Vanillaware games or like you like Fire Emblem, absolutely go download the demo. The demo is actually like pretty substantial it's the first seven hours of the game there's a lot of content there 
it pretty much showcases everything about it, all the different, um, you know, the new types of support conversations. They're called rapport in this one. There's side missions. There's um, really difficult <laughs> missions that you could run into on the map before you're actually able to do them and you get good rewards for doing them. There's like 60 playable characters. It's just a lot of fun. And actually, I think the writing is really good. There's a thing going on right now with people who are angry about the localization because they add a lot to the game in terms of uh, that Twitter you know, the dialogue. So stupid. But exactly, right. But it's it actually, funny. it makes it good. It's, <laughs> it's funny because there have been like a good handful of um, Japanese developers who have been blowing up that thread saying that it's basically nonsense. Yeah, that, like, I mean, it's absolutely fine it. for the localizer for that to game it this way. itself said, hey, man, you're wrong. Right. <laughs> Because it, I think, like, the way that they're flourishing up the language makes sense for this kind of game. I mean, if you had that very dry, you know, not doesn't really have a dialect of, like, a fantasy kind of realm type thing in there, I don't think it would hit quite the same. Um, again, I will say I'm invested in the story from what I've played. Like I said, I'm about 10 hours in. I'm thoroughly enjoying it. Um, the character designs, I think, are really good. There's obviously still, like, a lot of the the designs that Vanillaware is known for, the big boobs and the jiggle physics and everything. But it is tamer in this than I think in previous games. If you look at something like Dragon's Crown and you look at just like how absurd some of those designs are, this one is a little more subdued, but it still has that anime greatness. So if you like those jiggle physics, don't worry, it's still there. The music's excellent so far. And uh, yeah, man, I mean, I'm definitely planning on playing more of it. It's giving me the Final Fantasy Tactics triangle strategy fire emblem vibe that i've wanted and and yeah yeah i was i was gonna ask if it's like if it's gameplay has a particular sort of identity to it relative to the other strategy games because i obviously triangle yes, strategy i think it's, a, it's an up. rts isn't it it's semi rts so basically <laughs> the way that it works is there's not a grid right imagine that it's like fire emblem but instead of having a grid you can and instead of selecting each character one by one you can basically click pause select everybody's actions and then start the turn and so essentially it is like semi rts you can basically pause as many times mm -hmm. as you want and there's a time limit that's on the top of the screen and when you're like mm, i want to change direction for some of these characters if you hold x It'll pause the whole screen. You can pick and choose which direction and what different tasks you want each unit to go in. And then once they actually run into another unit, it'll automatically start a battle between them. And then after, I think it's like the first mission or so, you unlock the auto battle, the, not auto battle, excuse me. It's like the, the speed up battle, right? Where you could do it like double time, third time or whatever, or skip battle mm. entirely, which is obviously something from Fire Emblem as well. And so once you kind of have the mechanics down pat and you're used to the, the actual gameplay loop, you could fly through these missions pretty quickly. And it's really a lot of fun. Like I like being able to change things on the fly. Um, just like how Fire Emblem is, different classes are good against other classes. So hunters, for example, are really good against thieves. You've got the characters with the really long pikes that can reach past other characters. It's just, it's it's really great. And I, I definitely urge anybody who likes tactical games to play this. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. It's coming out at a weird time, though, because it's like a week and a half after Rebirth. So I think a lot of people are going to be busy. I think that RPG yeah, audience is still going to be busy playing Rebirth. Waiting. Okay, I definitely want to play it, but... Yeah, Rebirth has comes first. Yeah. Oh, wait, the, nice thing, the nice thing is, like I said, the demo is really sizable. It's seven hours. I don't know very many other demos that are seven hours and then also let you carry over your progress. So I would say, you know, it's on everything. It's on the eShop and, and PlayStation and Xbox and stuff like that. You can go play the demo for like up to seven hours. And so by the seven hour mark, I think you'll know whether or not you like it enough to actually buy it. Um but yeah, I, I am a champion for tactics games. I want more stuff like this. So please give it a try for, for good old Rogers base. Um, moving but on. Before you oh, do it, just because yeah. you you, uh, you reminded me of something from, from the Splatoon DLC when you mentioned uh, localization because they did oh, a yeah. fun thing. Um, yeah. One of the new characters, uh, Oct, is like Oct is German and Dutch for eight because like, it's like she's an octopus character or whatever. Oh, she but, meant to be like but, Agent 8 or something? No, because you are Agent 8. You are... Like you are eight, you play as eight. You like right. customize your Octoling again to do the DLC. Um, but Oct is a another NPC that they brought in, and so it's German and Dutch for eight. And then in Japanese, um, her she has a full name for some reason. It's Mizuta, which is derived from 
giant Pacific octopus. Okay. And then her last name is Ahato, which is the Japanese rendering of Oct. But then in German, uh, she's called Ahato. So they used the Japanese rendering of the German to keep the like the name not being the native language. Oh, even interesting. When, even when it's like in the native language. Oh. So like that's the like that's the fun kind of shit that like localization does sometimes that like they should be doing. Like this is this is changing it. Like her name is supposed to be eight in a different language. And so in the German it uses like the Japanese rendering of the German eight. Like that's it, cool. It, I like that. That's cool. Like that I, I love that shit. And Shout I, out to all the localizers. That was a uh, neat thing that you reminded me of. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for bringing that up. Uh, some of the other announcements that were on this partner showcase, we're going to fly through some of these that are of less interest. Uh, Monster Hunter Stories is getting a port from 3DS. The original Monster Hunter Stories 2 is already on Switch, but Stories is getting a port. Disney's Epic Mickey Rebrushed uh, is coming out. Less interest. It, it seems to be more than a port. <laughs> less Wait, interest, said, Roger? What do you mean less interest? How is that less interest? That's one of my favorite things from the show. Oh, was it? Oh, well, please talk about it by all means. Oh, Go my ahead. God. I am so excited. This is like risen to probably right next to Dawn Trails, my most anticipated thing releasing this year. Wow. Really? I am so, so excited for this. Dawn Trail. Epic Mickey. It has new shit in it. Yeah. Right? Epic I didn't know Mickey Mike was a 14 has... player. Yeah, I love 14. Oh, what the fuck? Yeah, he um... helped me beat. He helped me fight Nidhogg in here for the first time with oh, people shit. in here. <laughs> I missed this. We'll be talking yeah. about 14 later in the year. Don't worry about it. <laughs> yeah, don't, yeah, yeah, don't worry. Don't worry. <laughs> we'll have a whole episode, I'm sure. Whether we want to or not. Epic anyway. Mickey, Which to me, was to. always just like a game that was so incredibly close to greatness. Like, it had all the ideas, but the execution just wasn't always there. Like, the camera wasn't that great. Right now? And the platforming maybe could use some work. It kind of felt like licensed game platforming. Yeah. But, like, I think they, they have a shot to nail it now. Because they've said that they're adding in new abilities and new moves, including, like, yeah. a dash, a ground pound, a, a sprint button. Oh, see, I didn't hear any of this about this game. I just, yes. just I mean, I saw the trailer, obviously. The sprint and button I, I is still really immediately big. it looked better. Yeah, because Mickey's um, kind of slow in that. Yeah. Also, yeah, um, I someone someone brought up in the chat, um, aren't you a voice in the original game, Roger? Or was it the old one? And I said, yeah, I'm in the OG version, but I, I don't know if I'm in this or not. To be fair, my character is just this. I go, Bleh. So I mean, it, it wouldn't matter. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So I don't think it's, I'm, it probably is still in there. I I don't know. You can play the game and find out, but I can tell you if you show me a clip. Wait, that was you? Bleh. Yeah. Shut up. We talked about this on the show before. <laughs> Stupid. All right, anyway. but, uh, Roger, <laughs> have you ever have you ever seen the the epic Mickey concept art? The the messed up. I have the amazing one with Monstro and and Epcot on the back of it and everything. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Or or yeah. these these ones. I wish the game actually looked like that. To be fair, these, like these, be, everyone I mean, does. This does look better. This rebrush does look better than how it originally did. But man, yeah, like these weird animatronic things on the yeah. the head bodies and the scorpions with the Abraham Lincoln head. Yeah. I know. I've been on like, that big uh, Mickey, bro. We were on, like a huge binge of like interviews about like the old Epic Mickey. Yeah, yeah. And Warren Spector mentioned that like this is not what it was originally supposed to look like. Like this was not his original vision. Uh, he tasked the concept artists to like work on this kind of stuff because they wanted to see where the line was uh, with Disney. Oh, oh yeah, for oh, sure. I've seen the old concept art. Yeah, yeah. The creepy, the creepy pasta. By the way. Art. Del, you're here real uh, quick. I know uh, you're excited about Epic Mickey, so you could touch on this. But real quick, we were talking yeah. Side Order before you left, and I know you streamed Side Order. Oh, What'd you think dude. Of I love Side Order. Right? I'm like, really good. I love, I love roguelikes. So for me, it was like a mix of both worlds that I love. So I think the upgrades are good. My only flaw was I wish it was like a little more in-depth in a sense of like, I feel like an extra boss or two, maybe a hard option to have like 50 floors. Um, you wanted to go a bit a longer bit so that more... the builds could get a bit crazier. Yeah, yeah. Let the builds get crazier. Yeah. Let it go on a little long. Because I feel that's, like uh, that's basically in what terms I of roguelikes, that is a light amount of uh, floors. Yeah. And in like build absurdity. Yeah. Is very light. Yeah, that's that's basically yeah. what I talked about. But I also mentioned how like even despite that, it was still extremely fun 
despite it was. how kind of like laid back and relaxed it is compared to what I kind of like wanted out of it. Yeah. Yeah. No, I agree with that. I wanted it to be, I wanted it to be a little bit crazier, but I mean, I think it took me, I'd say four, like five ish hours to beat it. Five, six like, hours. Like your first clear? And, yeah. My first full clear. And, uh, but I, I have been replaying it. Like for me, it's fun enough that I've been going back and replaying it. I wish keys weren't tied to different weapons because people don't think of it as a problem. Um, because I just don't like being forced to use a weapon. I just don't like playing to unlock stuff. That's yeah, mm. the completionist thing. I know, but it's like, I feel like the, the stuff you unlock is really cool that I want to unlock it without being forced to use like a, yeah, a weapon but like, I just genuinely like, don't like. That's why, like, you just you just keep doing runs, and then like, you keep getting hacks, and then like the weapons that you don't really like, like they're it doesn't really that's matter. That's true. As much. That's true. Also, I, I think if you uh, I think if you clear a full set with a, any weapon, you get another key regardless. Yeah. Every, so. so every every single pallet has three keys that you can get, and you get the third key yeah. from clearing floor thirty. So like you have to you have to do a full run. It was actually the worst thing because I I lost my first Brella run on the final boss. Which mm -hmm. meant I had to go do an entire thirty floor run with the umbrella again to get that. Last oh, key. dude, Jesus, that's the worst. So that's yeah, no, I, I was doing an extra and yesterday. I died at the final boss again. I was like, ah, uh, pain. I'm and then anything my, on uh, uh, Epic my Mickey right now? Bring it back. Uh, I'm, I'm excited. I liked Epic Mickey when I was a kid on the Wii. I think that game's fun. I uh, that studio Purple Lamp is good. They did the remaster for Battle for Bikini Bottom, so I have no doubt this one will be very good as well. So. And I think he said he has an idea. Warren Inspector said he has an idea for a third one. So I would I don't even mind if they skip the second one and they just say fuck it, let's just yeah, make a second, new one. I don't remember the second bank game even being good. Yeah. It's uh think, the it power of two or whatever. Yeah, right. The one that it was, was on like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think uh hope it's I think it'll sell well. I feel like there's a lot of positive feedback and, yeah, and joy I've for seen seeing. a lot of people say it's like their favorite thing. Yeah. In wow. replies, like, what was your favorite thing from the direct? In the direct, I saw a lot of me. epic Mickey. Mm -hmm. Well, I know there's a lot of people in our audience whose favorite thing is going to be the next thing, which is Shin Megami Tensei Five Vengeance. This is the new version of SMT Five. Zeph, didn't you say that you like played the original game and you really liked it or something on a previous? I don't episode? like it. Oh, you don't like it? No, I don't oh. like SMT Five. Oh, okay, so you're not excited about this at all? No, unless they change a lot. No. Okay, well, uh, then we got Star Wars Battlefront Classic Collection. Uh, mm -hmm. That's coming. That looks pretty neat. A bunch of other licensed stuff. Gundam, Sword Arts, South Park. Super Monkey Ball Banana Rumble. We touched on it really briefly, but yeah, this uh, is the first new Super Monkey Ball in a long time. Uh, uh, so why why aren't you feeling too hot on this one? <laughs> the last um, one was ass. Yeah, the last one, the, the, the two remakes they've made, Banana Blitz, you know, they get a pass because Banana Blitz was already bad. But and they add a new girl that doesn't follow the naming convention. Good. Which well, one yeah, was the new girl's name? Have they done that before, or is she the first one? I not be don't named, know. Like, There's Mimi a lot of monkeys. Or... I, I. There's Doctor. <laughs> There's oh, yeah, doctors doctor. in the game. But yeah, uh, Banana Mania was not very good, so I'm a bit worried about this one. I like the new designs of the characters, honestly, though. Like... Everyone looks very cute. It's a lot better than their Banana Blitz designs, but in terms of, like, the physics and the general art style and the mini games, I don't know. I'm worried. I want to be optimistic, but we'll see. A game I know Ricky's optimistic about is World of Goo 2. What? Big fan of the original World of Goo. So, Ricky, I remember that's a, playing that's World odd. of Goo. Well, that, you liked it. You liked uh -huh. it in college. We played it. I do. I actually do. That's that. That was a good. I, know, I wasn't. Yeah, I, I was. It. I was gonna say. I was not making some joke. I know you like the original World of Goo. Are you excited for the sequel? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Um, not necessarily. Uh, only because <laughs> I don't remember I that. that game like that. Like, what do you mean? No, nah, don't worry. What do you mean? Someone said something. What? <laughs> Okay, huh? uh, moving on then. We got Fantasy what? Life. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I actually don't know who it was, but when Ricky said, yeah, I love the for the original world of Goose, someone said, yeah, you would. Okay. Well, okay, so Tito, it's either Tito or Shofu. Huh? It's either Tito or Shofu. It's one huh? of the two. 
<laughs> these, <laughs> these idiots, these idiots won't stop look, tonight. Look, look, man, I'm over here cooking fucking chicken over here, <laughs> playing shrouded, mind uh, my damn business, man. It was I also bet. not me. Okay, I bet. Okay, I bet. Okay. Tito, right. you're cooking? Anyways. Huh? What's up? You, uh, you're cooking? I am cooking, always. Guys, he's cooking. Something I'd be cooking uh, is crab, but unfortunately, crab's kind of expensive and I don't have it in my house right now. But I am looking forward to a game, another crab's treasure. This is the Souls like uh, crab game that was actually shown off during the direct. We finally got a release date for that. It's coming out in April of this year. I am actually genuinely really excited for this. It's probably like one of my most anticipated games from this partner showcase. I think it looks super funny. Um, I'm also just kind of in the mood to play a Souls game in the lead up to the Elden Ring DLC, which is something we'll talk about, I think, really briefly. We got the trailer for that separate from the partner showcase. Um, but yeah, this looks really cute. You run around as this little crab picking up different items on the bottom of the sea, using them as your shells and using uh, umami abilities, like giant lobster claws and stuff to beat up other sea life. It's fully voiced. It looks really cute. I'm super excited for this. And again, uh, April 25th is when that game comes out. Uh, actually, this, see, this is, I think, what the secret bombshell of the Partner Showcase was, though. And that is the Suica game multiplayer update that they added. Wait, uh, it is a dollar. Yeah, so they are they added okay, a paid DLC for Suica game, which is, like I said, already like $3. You can get it for a dollar. And you can play multiplayer now. It's local multiplayer. Uh, you can attack each other using cool. other different types of fruits. Looks okay. super cute. I love the original Suica game. I've played like not care. 90 hours. They're adding online soon. Yeah, they said they're going to be adding online as well, but currently it's only local. Oh, um, okay. Yeah, but they will be adding online. And I love it. I'm happy with Week of Game. We've talked about it on the show before. Very happy to see this. Also happy to see Pocket Card Jockey getting a port. That's uh, the Game Freak game that was on 3DS. Recently came to Apple Arcade. It's basically just solitaire with horse racing, but it's legitimately a lot of fun. And I think that's also pretty cheap on the eShop too. So check that out. And it was, uh, the, original, it was the original idea. For a Pokemon? The pocket jockey? It was not the I don't know where the hell you got what? that idea. But it was the original the idea of Pokemon. Where did you hear that? Anything that I said. I, I just, what? sometimes I try to contribute with facts that I think are real, but okay, never mind. I'm sorry. Oh my God. What, hey, what hey, made hey, you hey, think hey, that hey, wait, 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 I saw I saw a video. Huh? Saw, what was the video? Who made, you the video that made that video? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Grandpa, let's get you to bed. <laughs> I just want to sound smart sometimes. You guys, guys. Speaking, of, speaking of fentanyl, speaking of fentanyl, I'd have to be on fentanyl to play the game that got shown Jesus. off here. And then finally, the last two, uh, the last two announcements are the rare games coming to NSO: Killer Instinct, Blast Core, Battle Toads, uh, RC Pro Rally. A lot of cool looking things. I'm actually really happy about Blast Core. And I've never played the original Killer Instinct, which is kind of cool. So I'm happy they're throwing that on there. I hope, and hope this is like a sign for you know, more to come. I think without we a shadow of a doubt. DK64. DK64, Diddy yeah, Kong Racing, and Perfect Dark, I feel all have to be on there at some point. If we get Jet Force Gemini, I think Perfect Dark, DKC, and uh, you know DK64 are probably on the way at some point. Yeah. No do you about. think they would ever do Conquer, or would that be like... No, uh, I think Conquer yeah, is probably okay. the one that will. Oh yeah, Banjo Tooie will definitely happen as well at some point too. But no, I think Conquer is probably yeah, probably not like going to be. Get away from Microsoft to be like, hey, Toys for Bob, you want to make a Conquer game? Well, they can't. Toys for Bob doesn't exist anymore. So no, they still uh, still, exist. Does. They still exist. Oh, do they? Yes, they I just, thought it got reported. Closed they, closed, they closed the studio. Not they closed the office, and they're all working remotely, but it still exists. Ah, got it. Okay. Maybe they won't make so it. for Bob lives. Yeah, that would be cool, though, if Conquer gets thrown on NSO at some point. I would love that. Also, someone brought up in the chat that I missed a game. Snake, Rattle, and Roll is another one. Bro, how are you going to miss Snake, there. Rattle, and Roll, man? I don't know. I don't know how I missed that game. Unbelievable. Dude, come on, man. Bro. Yeah. I will also say shout out to Blast Core for its soundtrack. That is, again, one of those games like Bomberman Hero, where if you grew up with the Nintendo 64, you probably distinctly remember the music. And even if you didn't, I would say go on YouTube and look up the OST for Blast Core. It is a vibe. It's very excellent. 
And speaking of something else that is a vibe, this was the closer of the partner showcase. Mid, mid, uh, endless mid, Ocean, mid, 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 Endless mid, 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 Ocean Luminous, which is the new Endless Ocean game, not a port, as previously rumored, a port of Endless Ocean uh, 1 or Endless mm -hmm. Ocean 2. This is a brand new game. You can dive with massive groups of people underwater, randomly generated sea life. Um, mm -hmm. and you should generate more fun. frames. I just don't like. I would have rather they ended on Epic Mickey than that. Why did they do yeah, I was that? A, I was surprised this was the closer. Yeah. Is it because you don't like taking showers or baths? That's why you don't like games. Oh, I love What's taking showers and baths. I just don't need to take showers and baths with sixteen people online. I mean, so have you, you like ever played the original really Endless Ocean games okay. before? They're fun. I just mean like it, I mean it's fine, but it's like the closer. Like, I, I think the reason really, feel like yeah. Epic Mickey would have actually been a better closer. Like, no, I feel not like even... the reason it was a closer is because it's such a big, like, niche, beloved cult game from the Wii era. Yes. And also, it's it's like a Nintendo IP. I think none of the other ones that I were guess, in here were yeah. actual Nintendo IPs. And so I think they wanted to end with something that Nintendo actually owns. Yeah. I don't. I honestly don't know why it was in the partner showcase. I'm assuming it's because of the developer either. Arika. So Arika is technically the partner, um, which is why I'm assuming they put it in here. But yeah, I mean Nintendo owns the rights to the series. They publish it. Uh, if they ever want to make them, and Arika is not the one to make them, I mean they'll do it. But and I think it's also been confirmed Arika is making this new one too. So yeah, there you go. That was the partner showcase. Yeah. I mean overall, I thought there was some good stuff in here. I enjoyed it. It was. Solid. It was. Solid. It was, solid. It was I feel like I guess people's expectations were higher because there's no regular direct and they removed like the mini from it. Mm. But I think maybe they just removed the term mini because it maybe makes it seem like it's not worth watching. Yeah. Maybe. But I mean, like, like it's just pretty substantial. It was like 25 minutes. I feel like for everybody, there was at least one or two or three games that people were interested in. You know, I feel like everyone yeah, in this for was sure. interested in a couple for of sure. games. Yeah. Well, right on. All right, moving on from the partner showcase then, I think we should probably talk about the number one topic of the show since we're an hour and a half in and we haven't touched on it. One, one thing real fast. Oh, yeah, go ahead. Uh, the viewer form is now live. So if you want to vote on stats for the member Japan time, uh, we're going to use it some way. There, it's up. You can go click it and fill out stats. It's one to ten for viewers. Ours is one to five, so this is one to ten. And they'll average out. And uh, yeah, we'll see, we'll see those later. Right on. All right. Well, here we are. Pokemon Presents bright and early this morning. Today is actually Pokemon Day still when we're recording this. So happy Pokemon Day to everybody who celebrates. And uh, Pokemon <laughs> had a Pokemon Presents you're that was idiot. 12 minutes long. <laughs> you're, a you're a fucking idiot. I don't and, uh, <laughs> just I let can't. me go with it, all right? Just roll with the punches. And uh, yeah, they announced a bunch of updates for their mobile games. Pokemon Go uh, is getting a crossover with the anime. Pokemon Sleep is getting the legendary dogs. Pokemon Cafe Remix is getting getting Gimme Ghoul and Goldango. Pokemon Masters EX is getting uh, Silver and Tyranitar and also the worst champion in the history of Pokemon. Pokemon Unite is getting Maridon. And last but... Oh, and Phalanx actually as well. They're getting Phalanx. And Serilege. It's going to make you play Unite again? Yeah. Uh, I'm going to dabble when Serilege comes up. Right on. It's going gonna, gonna to make me try it. I'm waiting cool. for the, the Chinese beta that's going to rework the game. Whatever what? that comes around, share. There's a thing. Okay, so in China, Wait, they're actually a, doing a rework. There's a on the Chinese beta servers. is like a version of Unite that gets rid of score being how you win. You win by actually taking the goals. Like you, it gets rid of like the middle Pokemon is no longer as strong. The goal is not just to score the most. Taking each goal and taking their final goal is how you win. And it's like they're testing it. I, I so basically, you can't it. win by playing the game like me anymore, where you're Talent Flame you, and you, you just dive bomb in the middle. And get a bunch I mean, of we weren't, we weren't You win like a like. A, I mean, like a I won. I got a higher score than you. Still, yes. you know, to be fair. But you guys, you gotta defeat the base. That That's I why mean, I want won. that shit gone, so we can actually win by playing objectives. That's what I want. That means I probably won't play the game then. Anyway, moving on, we have a uh, Pokemon <laughs> trading card game Pocket, which yeah! I thought was Pokemon Milk. Mm -hmm. for a mm -hmm. Milk. I'm this, hyped for this one. This is the new TCG app that they're adding for phones where you get two packs a day. You can add to your digital collection. There's a new quick battle mode where you can play with friends. This is just this is just Pokemon it's Duel Links. Duel Links. Pokemon Duel Links. Literally it's, Pokemon. A Duel little Links. bit of Marvel Snap too, with the way you're looking at the art on the cards and shifting mm, them around no. and things. Uh, I, that's no. Just, uh, no that's I mean a, it is Duel Links, but, but 
I mean, yeah. but it is okay. It's literally, that, cool. that's just a thing that most mobile yeah. card games do. Like, oh well. Um, can we talk about how that one guy freaked out like crazy when he pulled a uh... Gardevoir? Yeah, he <laughs> did. He was very happy to get Gardevoir. That, I'm not surprised the other audience. That. You said shout out to Fidel Tito. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, right on. Um, yeah, so so this is that new app. It's coming out at some point this year. This is their big thing for 2024. Um, they showcased like the immersive art. They showed the Pikachu art where you basically go through the forest and you're looking at everything else that's in the forest, the Caterpies and the Ponytas, talking about how they're hard at work. That okay. the, uh, the training isn't like too restrictive because they're giving you a lot of opportunities to pull packs like the two a day. So you're going to be getting a lot of stuff. Um, but it almost I, looked like it was implying that trading was local. Yeah, that's the thing. Like with Nintendo and Pokemon and their obsession with local stuff. Like I understand, like you're getting two free packs a day. I just don't know how uh, available other cards are going to be. So and correct me if I'm wrong. Limited. Pokemon Go, you could only trade locally too, right? No, uh, so what it is, is you can trade long distance, but the longer distance you are, you have to spend more points. Ah, uh, got it, got it, got it. Did they say who's developing this? Uh, I think yeah. it is DNA. Oh, oh yeah, DNA, DNA that oh, makes uh, Pokemon Masters. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, something I didn't know about Pokemon Go until very, very recently is that you can only trade a Pokemon once. Yes, yeah. you can, yeah. You can't trade it more than once. Um, and then, anyway, so after the uh, TCG Pocket announcement, of course, this is the biggest news of the trades. show. We got a trailer for the next Pokemon Legends game, Pokemon Legends A through Z or Z through A or Zaza, whatever you want to call it. I think it is officially Pokemon Legends Z through A, right? Z to A? Z to A, yeah. Z to A, right. And, uh, yeah, we are skipping Unova. No Gen 2 remake, as rumored. No Gen 5 remake. We are going straight to Kalos, baby. And we are getting a new Pokemon Legends game. And Mega Evolution is coming back. That was their big announcement for the show. Thoughts, everybody? Very excited Seth, for Pokemon wanna, Zia. Seth, you want to go first? <laughs> no, I'm, I'm writing some shit. Okay. Writing? I, like I will say, you know, that the Copium's gone. That, uh... I was actually, I never. was happy. Mm -hmm. Then I what? I said, no, you go ahead. Never. You're good. <laughs> but uh, I was, uh, with this one, I was happy because, like, I actually, I really like Kalos. I think Kalos is my favorite region. And getting to actually revisit Kalos and actually go into more details about stuff, because, like, Kalos definitely felt like it was setting up for that Pokemon Z, and it just never happened. Wrong. So well, you can actually... only explore the city this time. Right. So that's yeah. been it's been further confirmed that the entirety of the game takes place in Lumio City this time around. And it's also been semi-confirmed the timeline of this. So I saw some people saying it was like the past and then building up Lumio City. I saw other people saying that it's like the far future and they're trying to redevelop it. It actually, I think the time skip is just meant to be kind of present day. It's that they're trying to build up Lumio City to match the technology of today. What I seemingly the the okay, so you know how they drew like that sketch of a house? Right. Uh, right. I, I was told that is like I think nineteen or no, it was like eighteen ninety eighteen like like mid to late eighteen hundreds yes. uh France when that I forget this, that one dude renovated the entirety of Paris. Right, right. Um so the game so when they drew that they start they drew over it which is implying that like that's where they're starting from and then they're trying to get to the lumios of now so i think the game is going to be like in 1800s i think, I think it's going to have Paris. both like it's you're you're going to have gameplay that's in that industrial like revolution era like the late 1800 early 1900 stuff and then like also futuristic elements where you know those new megas might come into play that's kind of why that visual visualization of that futuristic stuff's there that, again that could all just be a stylistic choice for the trailer but um i feel like there is so some sort of meaning behind it especially with you know those five circles they've showed like that obviously yep. something 
different zones um, that you're exploring or something yeah. for sure. And I also I think, just think if if you're also only playing in Lumio City for the entire game, it probably would benefit to have, you know, more than one uh, time era to play in. Wait, do you guys I, really I, think I, I was thinking that actually was mean just, it? I, but what I do you mean? What? Do you think they mean actually when they say it's literally you're just going to be in Lumio that's City? Or do you mean like, that's, what yeah, that's what they're saying. Yeah, and I mean, the map level is pretty huge. Highly within is Lumio City. I get because I took that as like that's like the hub and you go to outside they areas of the city. Within. That'd be weird. Yeah, I guess. Maybe then it's like Yakuza because some of it might be like Yakuza. Well, for sure. I mean, like, I, those Spider-Man games are in like one city. In one city. I think, I think Auto there's going to be. You can do, do a like, game in one city. They're gonna do like Tears yeah. of the Kingdom, where there's there's gonna be the catacombs underneath. Right. Yeah, oh, probably. I well, was there was this some the underwater game. tunnels too. I was envisioning the game like obviously if it's Legends, it has that gameplay style. I was thinking that you know the city starts fairly empty, and the more Pokemon you get, the more they start building areas around yeah the I city. Can, I would they love start that. building cool. the shops. Yeah. You get side quests where people are like, I really need, uh, you know, an all creamy to open this restaurant or I think something. That sense not to explore the entirety of Kalos because that's how Legends games work. You don't see the whole region. Yeah. You see you see the zones they give you. For your Roger, missions. I was presented with this idea. I would like to... Let's hear it. Yeah, go. Your... Okay. So this game is just Death Stranding Pokemon. <laughs> Oh, it's a strand Jesus. game. It's a strand game. It's a game. strand game. All right. Game. Okay. All right. You mean delivering, like delivering Finally. goods? Not so much the delivering, but, you know, rebuilding. Like Yeah, for sure. It's like Tomorrow with, Children. Yeah. Pokemon. Yeah, I kind of like that, actually. that there's actually. gameplay, cool. though. So it, it I don't think that's play. possible. Shut, shut the fuck up with no, your walk. It I am, it's not, I am stop super, with the cult. It's okay. It has gameplay. I am super interested in... How Game Freak is going to differentiate the our, like uh, Legends label from other mainline Pokemon games? Because I can't imagine everything from Arceus is coming over. Like I don't think yeah. you're going to be stealthing in bushes and throwing smoke bombs mm. in Lumos. Yeah, no, because we're not in the past like that. Like, I, yeah. I think the Legends. Where... I think I'm the just... Legends banner probably just it's just says this is an action RPG, right? This isn't well, just the, the, oh. the banner. Across I think it means both not games Pokemon. are different. They're, they're, they're written right, different. And they look, yeah, right. They look different. But I mean, like, in terms of the actual, when I say the banner, I mean, like, the, the key type of genre of the franchise. I think this franchise is more supposed to be seen as action RPG versus, like, turn based. I don't, like, obviously, I don't even think that. Yeah, yeah, I, I think, think, I think, I think even more nebulous. Even I the think way Pokemon's written is more like the regular. Um, I think it's just, I, I think it's just an excuse for them to revisit a region from a different yeah. perspective regardless of how they do that perspective i think it's yeah. just yeah. that simple i think it's just meant to differentiate it from like the mainline series and the whole like it, it is a mainline game no no, no i no, mean that's what i mean i like, mean it like, is a like mainline game pokemon but... scarlet violet like oh right well yeah right. like yeah the, it's, the, it's just their experimental titles yeah, yeah it's it's like meant to differentiate from like the turn-based combat it probably won't conquer have the online like conquer like the gyms of... blah 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 it, it probably won't have like online battling and stuff because that's no. how the first game was mm. i mean the, the one thing i will bring up this right in the very beginning of the trailer with the stuff with the unknown when they're walking they spell out the name sue you like do you think this is a new name no, for dude. Kalos? like what was up with that they it, it's supposed to say see you but the unknowns are dyslexic oh so they spelled see you wrong yeah that's they, spelled why they, some, they spelled pokemon presents wrong at the beginning of it too yeah did they really yeah yeah the unknown are, are oh sued. weird um i here's what I kind of want, actually, or, or here's the first thing: I don't think catching will be a big mechanic in this game. I don't think I don't no. think it'll be the gimmick here. I think the whole thing about it in the first game was because we we were learning how to interact right. with Pokemon. We we're gonna know that already. Correct. So I think because of that, the big thing. It, I also don't think it will be battling. I think it will be more akin to like at the you are going to want specific pokemon to accomplish certain tasks in the town and kind of use them like pals basically but not really but like a strand like, type game yeah uh, anyway uh, so, he's reaching so hard yeah, it's, it's just like he's I have, and I, ma chumps, and ma so, chumps this way so, it's it's yeah, so he's going to be looking for like you know uh you want to 
find a machop and then you level it up to get him a champ because in order for the fucking construction it's going to be like and then it'll help you get better stuff and better mods. well they did that in the first game yeah but like in this game specifically like the big thing about rcs the first game was that you know you want to catch all the mods you want to complete everything that's like, collect a thon that's how you get xp yada blah, blah, blah. but like i think in this game it'll be the it'll be a much smaller much smaller collection of pokemon and the big collect a at the end will be like those big bosses because there's like a billion legends so in, in this particular region. so i i actually think you might there i think there's less than 100 pokemon less than 100 you know? yeah, I, I, I think oh, it's the same God. i think it's the same scope as a normal like decks like probably 200 300 how many how many there. were in um legends arceus like 200 something flat or something <sighs> legends arceus decks amount i'm, Jesus I'm Christ, curious it's 242 it's a, yeah it's a small decks already even within the region and then the the decks in legends is also condensed and yeah, curated right. so right. because already you're picking the region with the smallest decks i think or at least bottom no, kalos like, has the biggest regional decks really by a long shot really i didn't know that so then okay. i am curious to see because obviously the big thing is with megas coming back and everything i feel like they're still gonna have new regionals in this one i imagine there will be like colossian something right like that we're gonna get kalos regional pokemon I can't I, like that's such a key integral part now of these games. I would be shocked if they didn't end up doing that. And with Megas coming back, I'm also wondering like with the title with Z and the A, I'm wondering if there's going to be like Z Megas and A Megas. Like if you're going to have think... different types of Megas, the same way we had like Mega Charizard X and Mega Charizard Y. And yeah, I think the the A thing might be a new Pokemon. Like I you know how Z, it's, uh, Z it's is going to be for Zygarde. I think there's going to be an A because the the entire like lore of the Kalo starters is the world tree stuff, and there's two right. animals on it that go unaccounted for. So you think those are going to be maybe new Pokemon? They could be part a of new it. New Zygarde yeah. form or a new... Well, the, the A kind of looks like the ancient weapon from the original Kalos games that causes the whole war. Like, that's the other thing is I'm wondering if this is going to reference the war stuff at all. I always assumed when Pokemon Legends was going to make a Kalos game eventually that it would touch on the war in the time where like az used the ultimate weapon and all no, that's even further stuff. behind like i think that's still like two thousand years prior but i'm saying i'm surprised that's not the direction that they went in not that i mind I, I, I've at all. Saying, i think it's cool like, but I, i've been saying this a lot is like i think there's there are a lot of things in the pokemon world that we are meant to be told about but never see like mm. the the quote unquote original dragon that may or may not even exist because it's a myth. One. Sure. Like yeah, like it's a myth. Like how Kurem is a myth where it came from space and started eating people. That that's okay. Um, the 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 Kalos War is something we're never gonna see. Uh, we'll never actively see Cinnabar erupt. Nothing like that. There's just there's some stuff we're just supposed to hear about. I, I don't know. I still feel like we, we have to get new megas in this, right? Like, there's going to yeah, be new course, Pokemon. Yeah, definitely. yeah. Uh, that's what I'm so saying. My, my take on this them. is, uh, so everybody is clamoring, trying to guess what the starters are going to be. I think it's pretty evident the starters are just going to be the Kalos starters. The only reason we got a selection of starters from the other regions in Legends Arceus was because exploring Hisui was a joint effort between those three regions mm. so he had those uh so what i think is going to happen is they're going to just give us the Kalos starters and finally give them mega evolutions yeah mega greninja and mega delphox and stuff i could see yeah. that happening i mean ideally if if they were going to give mm. other starters i think snivy would be a really good choice it, the thing looks french I think yeah. it would, would be weird a good one with to, Napoleon and Napoleon. It, it would be weird <laughs> to make. He's he's right though. Yeah, he looks it would French. be weird to make Mega Greninja when Ash Greninja exists. Yeah. I yes. I, I mean, but then again, we have like twenty different forms of Charizard with Dynamax and Gigantamax yeah, I don't think and Max and Y. And I think I also could just make it change Ash Greninja's name. Just make it Mega. Just let it... No. It looks like you think they're gonna retcon Ash Greninja? No, like no. Like no. or they, they could just changed. not include Battle Bond in the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah they've already Bond, they've yeah. already essentially retconned Ash Greninja, got it, Scarlet got it, and got Violet. It. Can you still use it? Yeah. Oh, it's just tied to Battle that move. move. 
Battle Bond exists in Scarlet and Violet, but it doesn't transform Greninja into Ash Greninja. Just got, it, got, it, got it, So the the other uh, thing about that is um the page that this originally came from is deleted now because it was from a Sun and Moon pre-release thing. But uh Ash Greninja and AZ Floet are the same phenomenon. So when Ash Greninja was revealed, it said this phenomenon is said to have happened once several hundred years ago in the Kalos region, but remains shrouded in mystery. They have the like exact same color palette and naming convention and the method of obtaining. It's it's really weird. So Speaking I'm wondering of, if that's going to be a plot point. I feel like the AZ Floet's finally going to be a thing now. I feel like they'll probably put that in here. I feel like wasn't that unattainable sort of for a long time? That like just because of the naming convention, there's got to be some small aspect of it, and I also think that like can help with the time travel bit as well. Wait, what time travel bit? Like how the I said I think the game's gonna have portions of uh, the region in the past and then in the future. I think that like there probably will be some sort of time travel aspect in it because of. Just the history of the games. Oh, okay, okay. So not okay. So just because of where we are, not because of anything. Okay. The other thing, I'm I'm looking at this trailer again. I do feel like this will be a good opportunity to give Megas to a lot of the Kalos Pokemon. Like I feel like just of the ones that we're seeing here, I'm like I could see a Mega. Uh, it's Talon really weird. Flame. Like Pyroar doesn't have one. Yeah, Mega Pyroar, Mega Sylveon. Yeah. Mega Sylveon will they be broken. <laughs> well, they Bulma, didn't give Bulma, Megas Bulma to. We're in the trailer. But that's what I'm saying, they, right? Is I think some of those Pokemon that were in the trailer, I think we'll probably end up getting Megas because a lot of the other they, ones that are in there already have them, like Pinsir and Heracross and Gyarados and stuff. Yeah, I'm pretty sure none of the Gen 6 Mons have Megas, none. right? Nope. nope. Yeah. And Other, even well, like... Oh, no, Ardino's Gen 5, right? So no. Yeah, no, Ardino's Gen 5, and it's the only Gen 5 Mon with a Mega. It's like Diancie, but she got added afterwards, right? That's right, like, right. Mm -hmm. mm, that's, yeah, that's the one exception. Most of the Megas are Gen 1... I think a like a huge and one Gen three. Of them are Gen one. A few yeah. as well. And I think I think because this is coming out in that, like twenty twenty five. Obviously, it's it's going to be very ambitious. Uh, so I think it's going to be hard to guess the story for this one, especially because with the first Legends game, they tied all the mythical and legendary Pokemon into plot points. Sure. And the ones in Kalos are very, they're they're pretty huge. Like Hoopa can can do a like there's like a bunch of different ways they can go with that guy um volcanion maybe we can do something i don't know he's in a power plant maybe the, you know the shutdown one see that's uh, the thing is i'm i am wondering like the shutdown power plant the ghost girl there's a lot of like weird open lore things from x and y that i think they'll the probably end up resolving in here yeah mm. what the hell's the ghost girl there's a ghost girl in the in like gen yeah. six and yeah. Oh, where she like walks away middle. and you never find out anything afterwards. Yes, that's yes. Like, yeah. Oh. Yeah, where you don't get like any information about it. it just she just walks away and says some cryptic shit. She says you're right. not okay. the one. Right. Right. Interesting. And also uh, in uh in in Oris, every time the camera pans around Phoebe, there's a ghost girl. Yep. Yeah, so maybe we'll get more. And obviously, Oris had mega evolutions and stuff, too. I actually saw somebody bringing up that maybe the Delta could have something like the A could be read as Delta and might have something to do with the Delta yeah, episode. That's not a Delta thing, really. I mean, it kind of yeah, looks I like... I don't know. I think, I think the A is going to be related to a legendary Pokemon. Yeah, yeah. And uh, Zygarde and that thing are going to be the most important. Xerneas and Evil Tall still have to do stuff, obviously. Oh, I'm I sure. Think, they, they'll probably have new forms. They new probably. forms, yeah. Just like how we had origin forms of Dialga and Palkia. I'm wondering the direction they're going to go. Like they, they could do very easily a, a, a Team Aqua and Magma cultist thing with Xerneas and Evil Tall, but I also think there's going to be. I think I think it's going to be Evil Scientist of some sort again. Yeah, like yeah. they're going to do something that's like, hey, it's Team Flare, but it's not Team Flare because it wouldn't that's, make sense. Yeah, that's exactly what I think. Like when I was watching the trailer again and looking, you know how it says like confidential and then it lists the thing off with Lumio City. I'm I thinking think it's that be maybe an it's something Z zero sick that that dude. Mm, I was thinking it's like a Neo Team Flare. Which guy is that? That's putting together because you know, the whole the thing. Fat, bald guy with the the gloves. Oh, okay, okay, and okay, the Malamar. Okay, cool. Thank you, thank you. 
I was the the whole thing in X and Y, right? With um, what's it called? With Lysander was that he wanted to make everything beautiful, right? Wasn't that the whole thing is like he yes. wanted to, to make the buy and destroy everything. So, I, and this whole I concept of like the redoing of Lumio City is meant to like create this new version of, si of the city where Pokemon and people live together. I feel like the reason why it says confidential on the, the listing at the beginning and you see Lumio's, I think it's probably because this is like a plan by Neo Team Flare that seems good, Right, where they're trying to rebuild the city, but in actuality, they're doing something like ha hacking the mainframe and trying to rebuild things. Maybe Zero Sick has something to do with it, whatever. But well, I think I think the the Lumios Tower is going to be hiding the ultimate weapon. Totally, yeah. There's going to be something either within it or Jeez. some tied to it. Yeah, without a shadow of a doubt. I think they should do a lot. I heard with you say Koopa. Ultima weapon, and I and I lost my shit for a second. Oh, not Ultima like, crossover of the century. You know, the Ultima is a <laughs> weapons and Pokemon. Oh, I great. have a question. Yeah, the, what's up? Uh, the 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 Geo Senge thing. How long was that there for? Does anyone know how long that existed? Because like that could maybe tie into this game. Um, I don't know if it's even ever mentioned. Oh, it's just a weird town. So yeah, maybe that could still show up in this well the thing as well it's like because that was a big thing in the, in the original legends is the battle system like i think this game's going to be a little bit more battle heavy actually like i just i just i just don't get the feeling based off the aesthetic because the legends game was so based off plot and if it's a different plot then i have to assume based off the first game that the mechanics will follow the plot mm. and if the plot of the first game is we don't know shit about nothing catch everything so let's catch stuff well, that's not the plot of this game, most likely, which means that it's probably going to be more battle oriented. But I actually do like the battle. Like it, it was it was different enough to be engaging and fun. So I hope they kind of do something similar where it's like different, but it's also like. Look, man, when I when I mega evolve something, I want to be able to control that shit and actually do this shit like an action RPG. That's what I want, man. So what are some megas that you think are going to be in this? Just curiously, just like rattle them off. Anybody? Mega Noivern. Mega Aegis Slash. <laughs> Boom. Yeah. Someone said Pyro earlier. Pyro is probably one. Are you talking new ones or just any of them in general? New ones that like will be in this one because obviously, again, I think we're gonna get new megas. I'm assuming most of the megas that were already existed will probably be coming back. But I feel like in terms of new ones, who do you think you're? Mega Halucha. Whatever the starters are. For sure, the starters. Halucha's getting one. Oh, Mega Halucha oh, would be cool. I got, I got a great one. No one's gonna see coming. Mega Meow Stick. Mega Meow Stick would be cool too. I'd like that. Klefki is gonna turn into a Master Key. <laughs> I like that. No, Klefki's gonna turn into a Fob. He's gonna turn into a. Hey, what if actually? <laughs> dude, that's a really funny idea. <laughs> dude, what if, that's a thing? what if that's actually a thing? The Megas are related to like future the rebuilding. Of stuff. I love like, that actually. Not that's Iron great. Key. Like he's just Iron Key. Like, yeah, he just gets key. turned into a fucking Honda. He's Civic just a Bob. fucking garage opener. <laughs> I kind of love Honda that actually. Civic? Garage opener, Clefty is a great idea. Um, I do think that like, I like I think Talonflame. Like I would like, Talonflame would be great. Sure. Like Bird, like <laughs> even though even though fuck that thing, that thing was broken on release. I think Heliolisk could be cool. I would like that. Yeah, oh, Heliolisk could be great. Heliolisk. Especially I since, know, like, McQueen. Let Helio, I think all these uh, the Pokemon, fire. I would love the, the, that. The Kalos Pokemon that have yeah. the weird addition like of normal type, well. if if they mega evolve, it'd be cool if they lost it. Like, Heliolisk became Dragon, Pyroar became something. Well, are and, we what's under... the other one? Go Go? Go Go. Yeah, yeah. Go Go. Yeah. Go Go's one. Are we under the impression that all the new megas will be Kalos Mons? Because I'm I think a large not. majority will. I think be. a lot of them will mm -hmm. be, yeah. Really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I kind of hope not. I but... also hope not. Because I'd like to see stuff like you want it to be Mega Lux Ray and just yeah. Well, I think it's, just it's, it's, it's just going to be just getting getting I, I, I'm pretty sure it's going to be like X and Y where it was a mixture, but it'll lean more towards Kalos this time because it got like nothing. Well, I mean, yeah. with the Kalos decks, uh, it's it's like most of it is not Kalos Mons, right? Like it's mostly. Uh, yeah, because like, there's only like 60 Kalos Pokemon. Yeah, there's rarely right. any added. Yeah, so like I'm thinking of like 
they have they, they can spin the block on some of these shit that they might have missed like like even though there's a lot like i know i know gyarados is there you have Sharpedo, you have well, we're also like, gonna get calosian forms mm -hmm. of Pokemon, oh yeah sure. most definitely Ooh, yo, yeah give me, Colo give me like calosian like fucking like give me like a new uh like a butterfree or something like like give me like like some shit like that like i want like new not gen one but like specifically even though it's I just, I I'm trying know. to I think like, of like construction <laughs> related Pokemon or like, yeah, they, I mean, Conkledur is probably going to be one. Ooh, yeah. That's yeah. Crazy. Mega Conkledur? I think it would be like a, could we get a Colosian Conkledur? Yeah, right. Like, um, well, are they, that's a good question. Are they going to do Mega Colosians? Like, Colosian. French, that's the, yeah, that's French, are they going to make a new Colosian, but then they're going to me Mega those Pokemon as well? That'd they be could. wild. Yeah. Oh my God. They could mega do that regionals. with Spartas. Yeah, well, yeah, I guess office. that's true. They could, yeah. Are we under the impression, and or rather the assumption, that there will be no actual like PvP? I think I there's only going to have trading, and I think it'll have, um, like, like, uh, you can do like co-op hunts and stuff, but I don't Trans. think they're going to do PvP because it's going to be like, uh, it's going to have the strong and agile style shit still in a way that yeah. isn't balanced for human versus human. So I. I, I agree with that, but I also think for the like their tournament scene, because like they don't care that much, but they care enough about like VGC, right? And I think I mean I could just be wrong. They maybe they just leave VGC on uh, I mean Scotland they're Island, they're on but... the four they're on uh uh regulation F. Like they went A B C D E F in terms of like the like the level like that's the rule set that they're on. They're on the fourth mm. rule set of the game. So yeah, but they can you know? they can switch whenever. But yeah, I get what you're saying. This is like to me, it's like if they're pushing this back, where you know, rumored that this was going to be Switch Two, Switch Two got pushed sure. back, then it's like if it's going to be that long, they could make a thing so you could do that in this game, just so like you can play in the new game and you're not still on Scarlet and Violet for like another year doing VGC shit. True. Yeah, I know so little about France. I can't think of good Colosian forms. Or they well, can make a dash I mean, there, I mean, there's a Colosian Scavalier, form. which is basically, you know, there's a... Yeah, a Scavalier could work. A Scavalier's there. The other one, who I never can remember, that's in the same... The Selgor. Other, but, uh, yeah, a Selgor, thank you. Technically, they could do Lucario that... if they wanted to, because yeah. another thing that's in France is, like, the Louvre, so there's a lot of, like, Egyptian and that kind of stuff within, Ooh. like, the Louvre itself. Mm -hmm. You also be get, awesome. That, yeah, you also get that Lucario in X and Y. I would oh, that's some right. kind yeah. of uh, art related clue. Like that has to be yeah. Yeah. Some Smeargle. Yeah, some yeah, that'd be oh, cool. I'm putting I'm putting money on forms or megas of Volbeat and Illumis. I wouldn't be surprised about Smeargle actually. There's a How? lot of artist trainers in the original game who use Smeargle. That's also wild. Yeah, you Volbeat and Illumis. And it's based on Paris, which is known yes. as the City of Lights. City of Lights. And you haven't yeah. had anything with them at all. I thought for yeah, sure they were to get Megas a long time, time ago. No, it's yeah, I time. like that. I, I think I think they'll be like they will mega they will mega and they will lose the same type, but gain but gain different like opposite like they'll they will go from like an ice and a fire to like a bug ice and a bug fire. I love that. That's cool. Or something. I think it'll be a Well, they're lightning bugs. Yeah. That's true. Maybe they both maybe they both mega into a to a bug electric and they're just both Vicavolts. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. I mean I, I I'm very the thing I like about the Legends game specifically is just that I love the aesthetic. The fact that the I like it when mechanics back up plot and world sure. building. And, sure. And in most night most mainline Pokemon Pokemon games are just plug and play. Whereas this one, Legends, felt very refreshing because it felt like what I was doing was attributing to the story, as opposed to what I was doing was just what I was doing, and I was going to get the story afterwards. So, whatever mm. the mechanic is, because I do think like it's not going to be catching. Like I, I, I don't, I just don't think it's going to be catching. It's yeah, going to be like something. You're else. saying like how much of an extent can they go with this, where it still feels like a Pokemon game? Correct correct so even if it's like even if it's like not gym battles or whatever like what or or it's a collect-a-thon like i still th like there's i don't know what it is but i think that i hope they came up with a way for it to feel like i am building lumios mechanically as well as narratively sure 
I have a feeling it's going to be like a bunch of side quest stuff where it's like, you got to do this many things in Lumios to progress to the next part of redevelopment or research or whatever. Oh, that, oh yeah, that's what I was going to say. Because we were talking about kind of where... I think I think you will go on, for lack of a better term, I think you're going like mo- like monster hunter hunts. Like the world will be your hub, and you'll get a side quest, and then you'll go out to an area, mm. be in that area, and then you'll fuck off and come back. Mm. Like, but like it'll be like like um like a monster hunter scenario. Yeah, I'm I'm pretty sure all the story will happen in the city. Oh yeah, for sure. But, but like you catch Pokemon outside of it. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah, that totally makes sense. It just depends on how big this, like, that's, I think that's going to be the make or break on the game, how big the city is. Or, like, what exactly those zone areas are, right? <laughs> like, if those are just, like, gym kind of areas or trial areas, or if those are... One of them, I think, is... Let me look at the cows. One yeah. of them is, I think, you you build it up, like, your specific way, because there's, lit- like, it's empty and has one building. Hmm. So, I think it's, like, a home area. Well, so Lumios is like right in the fucking middle of the whole region. If I'm looking at this correctly, um, so you can go really, bro. You can go anywhere. You got the lakes right up to the north. Like you, you got the desert directly on the left. Like you can kind of, you know, what I'm saying? like you kind of, you kind of go anywhere. Right. That's hold on. Let me put it in here. Like this yeah, is let's fucking. Do this. Yeah, hold on. Let me put it. Like, okay, so that, so in the center right there, that's Lumios, I, right? Right, right, yeah. right. Okay. Yeah. So you have whatever that desert is on the left, and then you have, I guess, is that Snow Point? Yeah. Okay. Snow have, Bell. Oh, Snow Bell, excuse me. So what's Snow Point? That's another thing. So Snow Point's from, yeah, yeah. Snow. Yeah. Yeah. But then you have uh, Snow Bell on the right. So you already have your other, you have two biomes already. You have a marshland, you have a, like, you. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're we're locked in. Yeah, there's enough like variety in the environments where I feel like you could end up doing that. Well, right on. I mean, the other big thing that I think we haven't really touched on at all in regards to this game, which is surprising, but I think it's like the biggest story about this is that this is going to be the first game. I think it's the it's the longest, right? We've gone in between any of the mainline games. Um, we are skipping a mainline game. This hasn't happened in a while. We're skipping a year. 2024 is not getting a mainline game. This is coming out in 2025. And uh, I think most of us are happy about this, right? This allows them to cook. This allows them to work on the game and And make it actually good. That's the hope. But again, it's Game Freak. So I kind of need to see something. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. I guess that makes sense. And then the other thing I've seen a lot of people saying is, People thinking this is going to be a launch title for Switch 2. Uh, they specifically say this is a Switch game. I do not think this is a Switch 2 game. I think we're looking be, at a situation. It's literally like, like the DS. Right. Like, if you guys remember Black and White 2, Black and White 2 came out in 2012. The 3DS came out in 2011. I think it's just a matter of wanting to put it on as many systems as possible. Obviously, Switch 2 is going to be backwards compatible. So if this comes out the same time or around the same time as Switch 2, people might consider it as somewhat of a launch title because obviously it'll run better on that system but no this is most definitely going to be a switch game this is a switch game hey, but imagine if it wasn't backwards compatible <laughs> that would be wild yeah i mean <laughs> but i don't think that's going to end up being the case uh one thing that i want to ask though because he's been awfully quiet during this segment and i feel like normally he is the man who has a lot to say about pokemon is show how do you feel about legend z you're talking about Pokemon Legends Zaza. Zaza, how do you feel about it? Uh, I mean, I agree with T- what Tito said, like about the, it, depending on how big the city is. But I like it, especially because they showed the mega, uh, the mega Pokemon symbol at the end there. I think the city's going to be incredible. Like we're not used to it because of Pokemon having two buildings per town, but I think it's going to be like incredibly dense and be a city the size of a region, it, like because of that. I mean, even if it's not the size of a region, I mean, they they could do a reasonably sized city. I mean, like, you've got Midgar for most of, if not all of Final Fantasy Remake, right? Yeah. You've got uh, Cyberpunk, obviously, is in a city. Spider-Man, GTA. I mean, 
a lot of these games take place oh, in I, I agree with you, Roger, but you have to remember who we're talking about here. <laughs> no, I know. I know this is Game Freak, but I mean, to a much lesser scale. I mean, you could still make a sizable city environment. Yeah, Even and if, if, it's it's a, if it's yeah. a Switch game, it's going to be dog shit to walk through. Well, unless they split it up in terms of zones or something. I mean, yeah, it, that was already the case with the original. Once, so. Right. But like the original Lumio City, you would go through different Maybe zones not. and load them up. So I don't see why this would be any different. It just it, has to, it like, definitely if has they to be do more one than just setting, a city, though. It has to not be empty. That's like the risk you run with right. that kind of thing. That's right, why those right. other games kind of work is they populate the shit out of them. So you can just go anywhere and keep finding stuff. But I don't know if Game Freak's going to do that. I actually think it's going to start empty. Like, I think that's how the game starts. Like, I think there's like oh. going to be like 10 people. And the more you level up, the more populous it becomes. Because the whole point is that you want to get to the point where you're creating the framework for what we know as the Lumios of today. Sure. Well, I think point. it still already lived in because the, the blueprint had people in it. Oh, okay. Did it? It's Do just, you think you're it, yeah, playing? It's just, it's just before, it, like, the big renovation. It's, it's still, like, a huge city. Oh, okay. So it's like it's going from like wood and stone the... No, it's not starting at square one. No, no, no. They're building oh, okay. onto the city. It's like it's already like been the... established. In right? our timeline, it's at the peak of the industrial revolution for France. Oh, okay. Ooh. Are, are you going to play as an urban developer? Is that your role? You I mean, that's kind know. of what we're they... speculating. We don't know. Oh. You know, you're talking, you were okay. talking industrial revolution in France, and I'm thinking of French revolutions and stuff. You know what I want to see? I want to see Colossian King Gambit. And I want it to be based on a guillotine. No. That's what I want. That would be they sick. They could turn the uh, they could turn the 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 musketeers into French. Oh, that would be cool. Give Sir see... Fetched a bag. Yeah, Sir Fetched. Oh, Sir Fetched. Colossian Sir Fetched would be awesome. That goes. <laughs> Let's go. How would that work though? Would you have a Colossian Far Fetched as well? Then I mean, I guess yes. they've done that with Meowth. They've done that yes. with and other Pokemon. The leak, the leak is is is, is a rapier. Oh, I like that. Okay, cool. So he's like normal steel or something? He's ju he's yeah, he's just Raphael from Soul Calibur. I like except, that. That's except cool. not the vampire. I like I the idea of a too. Colossian <laughs> sir fetched would be awesome. So does this does he start off as a far fetch with a with a croissant? I don't what? know what, what comes oh, far fetch with the beret, guess. maybe or something? Yeah, bro. We got, I, okay. we got that bread dog. The bread dog is going to be in the game, too. Oh. So it's going to be a croissant. Yeah, yeah. Mm. There you go. Yeah, oh, cool. makes sense. Uh, what's his name? Dash what the fuck is that bread, bread name? dog? Fido. Uh, Dash Fido. Fido. That's Dash right. Dash Ba. Doc Woon. And he'll be little croissants and stuff. That'll actually be cute. I like that. I want a croissant now. Me, too. That sounds great. I fucking love croissants. Well, anything else you guys want? In terms of uh, this Pokemon Zaza news, anything we didn't touch on before we wrap this sucker up for the day? Uh, they made a Ricky. They Ricky made definitely a, wants to wrap around Drake sucker. Well, not, just, just what? you're done. That is a, <laughs> you're, that's that, you're that's done. different. That's you're you're you're, you're, you're weird. That's uh, they too. they they released a mod for Twilight <laughs> Princess that lets you play with sixteen people at once. Twilight Princess. Yeah. Oh yeah, I wanna okay. I wanna see because that's what Zeph usually does. I want to see what everybody's playing. I mean, what else is everybody playing? We talked a lot about we what's know, been we early. know what everyone's playing in two days. Oh yeah, for sure. I, oh no 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 no, no 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 not me not me I'm waiting not me. Well, you're waiting for what? I took a I, I, I'm, I'm not buying a PS5. I'm I'm waiting I'm waiting because you, ah, you, PC yeah. release I understand. Oh no not that no 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 not that I'm just waiting so that way. I don't want to like. I have a lot of people in my chat who are also playing, so I want to give them like a couple days to play it, and then ah, uh, that makes sense. I usually mm. that's what I usually do with story games. I did. I did. You know how hard it was to do that shit with God of War. I did that shit with God of War. I waited two days. I, I Zef, took two days off. You, work, you don't. So I have a long weekend. And just yeah. No life. That game. You don't have to buy a PS Five. What? That's what I'm saying. It's gonna take to play the game right now. Yeah, I do. You could you could go to Best Buy has at least a one week something return policy. You go there, you get the PS5, you stay okay, up man. for about seven days, and then you return it. That's I will smart thing I will do. say I will say that we'll have to leave I, his house not think, one week. I don't think two days will be enough oh to even gosh. bum rush through some of the stuff. I ain't doing that. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I I took two days, and then I don't work weekends. Oh, okay, great, 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 great. So four week. days. There's still there's a oh, lot wow. of content in this game. I think. Uh, oh yeah, I know. I'm I'm expecting. It'll be a while. Yeah. Oh, are we showing these? 
Uh, yeah, we can show these. Oh, the cards? Yeah, let's show the cards. That's a good way I to I got the best show. ability. Give some teasers. Actually, no. Ricky, like do you want to explain the cards? Do you want to talk about the cards? Read out the abilities? I'm going to hand uh, this to Shofu you. can do that. But but what we can talk about is the what? fact that the, the Spiff merch thing has been... You guys have been going absolutely bananas. You, you're going crazy. Thank you for the support on the new you know collaboration. And we definitely want to see if you guys can place more orders before we have to make our own order. Um, and okay, the cards okay. are part of the incentives. Okay. You well, you take it away. Now nah, let's try this again. Thank you so much for supporting. <laughs> well, Ricky, well, so what Ricky should have said is that uh, we're getting ready you to do me. the bulk order. So if you want to get your order in to make sure that you're going to be able to get it as soon as it arrives, like as soon as they ship them out, you want to be one of the first ones to receive it. Make sure you get your order in coming up soon because the bulk order is coming up. And uh, yeah. <laughs> and where can people buy those things? Uh, Spitspace.com slash the pan time or space slash the pan time. Fantastic. Fantastic. And for everybody who buys one, we'll be sending you a Nintendo Switch. So make sure to get okay. those orders in. TNT okay. and that's, that's, actually, that's actually illegal. That was a joke. Joke. <laughs> that was a joke? Yeah. We're not actually doing that? No. <laughs> you can't, you can't bundle free right, let's, with their let's look at these cards. So if you can bring up Is that really illegal? Orders. Probably. You can't bundle if you, if you go. Oh, buy this thing. You, no, you can't lie. Really cool. oh, Roger, we've been over this five oh, we million. Oh, lie. Times. Oh, right. Of course. Oh, yeah. And that oh, was a lie. We're not actually. Card, bro. That. I don't know. Ricky made some dumbass yeah, shit. Ricky bro. came up with all these. Oh, okay. What do you know? It, it, that it was, was the, the. I asked you, and then you, and then no, you didn't veto it. it. You said you well, wanted it. Tell like you, that. it was worse. <laughs> it was much worse. What we got it back? Yo. Ricky really the freakiest person on earth. All right, so let's read some of these out. What are our abilities? What are our abilities and and you can read yours, Roger. Well, you start with Shofu. You start with Shofu and then you keep going or something. All right, well Shofu's What, what are these weights? Hold on. Shofu's ability is never broke and it says you can show an opponent $1000 at any time and go band for band and you get plus 10 attack when active. Ain't nobody trying to go broke. band for band anymore. He's got hands up is his uh, hands up is his base attack does 20 damage and then roast if your opponent is fatherless and has never filled out a job application the attack obliterates them from existence does 500 damage 500 that's pretty good it says here um yeah, that actually pairs up with another card yeah his description also says this powerful legend possesses a deadly arsenal of firearms when heated he can spit flames 69 times hotter than the surface of the sun there you go. Mm. That sounds like a real Pokemon card. Okay. Okay. So who who's next? Who's next? Then who wants to read the next one? Tito. Let's go. So Tito's ability, it says this show sucks. And it says Tito does two <coughs> times damage to all Japan time members. So he does double damage to all of us. Uh, and then Justice for three energy. It says, as arbiter of truth and justice, Tito never forgives those who are horny on main or dumb in general. Uh, if, if he has evidence against either the defending target, you win the game. Otherwise, it does nothing. It does 100 damage base. And it says, whether beaten, battered, or bruised, this unstoppable force will never submit to any opponent. Rather, he keeps moving forward. So that's Tito with 200 How much six feet tall and 100 pounds? Yeah, some of these heights and weights are kind of weird. I don't, I don't know. I don't know how I'm one. I mean, you guys can go back and review. <laughs> Doesn't make any sense. <laughs> you niggas didn't give me any information when I was making these cards. Whatever, you keep going. Whatever. All right, so then don't Coast. Read that one. Coast don't, read that one. don't read that one. Don't read that one. Coast has sixty nine. You have 18. to read Coast. Coast, his ability is C for C, which says uh, if you come while this card is on the bench, what it'll the be switched while you're out oh, on the field. <laughs> What a, no, if you come onto the field? No. If you come onto the field, bro. This one. Stop getting get out of the dirt. Hey, in, the, in the show. Oh, in the no, show. no, because, <laughs> because Ricky, no, you don't understand what that shit used to be. It was much worse. Okay. <laughs> but I'll still look at this card. Yes, it was worse. I'm looking at this <laughs> card. No it still says Faku staff, and it can't say that. So it's like, what, Ricky? What why, why can't you say? No, no. Why can't you say that? It's Faku Roger. staff, Roger. <laughs> Fox you know is a hentai website. Yes, yes. yes. It's it's a a -sponsor, website. But it's one of yeah, co-sponsors. Yes, it's a hentai website. We can't put that on a card. But it's one of his sponsors. Uh, we cannot put that on this yes, 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 Anyway, his, I, the thing that bothers me more than anything else is other Nintendo gaming is a fine base attack. The thing that's surprising to me okay, is his don't read this. Inter <laughs> don't insurrection. Don't read. It's his, uh, his attack. It's not insurrection. Energy. Read it correctly. 
And it says, unprovoked and unprompted, the user will hold a large public exhibit. Oh, wait, I can't read this. Like, I like, <laughs> like I, I can't read this. Coast one, it, it was worse. It was worse. And it's still right. I can't read I this. Thought, I thought the names changed were good. I can't read this one. I can't I'll read this I'll tell you, Roger. Okay, I see. <laughs> Here's the thing. I had to change the name we, on yours let, let, because the name the <laughs> name of your attack was also crazy. You gotta get that shit changed. Wait, no, 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 no. Okay, let, let's go to mine actually real quick. Well, hold on. Let's just skip it because Ricky needs to like no. Oh, well, hold on, but the, the description of Coast, it says the Ganon Maine's ceaseless lust for masochism drives him to depraved forms of suffering. The more pain he receives, the more his power grows. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that, you know? This is spot uh, on with Coast. I I know. So then mine, so then my card, I have 390 mm. HP, my ability is unchained, and it says that I get plus 20 HP for each dark energy attached to me, uh, and then my main attack is never forget, and it says if your opponent has ever left an angry comment on one of Roger's videos or Japan Time videos, this attack will kill them immediately. Kill. Uh, if, if not, flip a coin for the number of fire energy attack to Roger's base, and it does 40 times the number of heads. And it says tread lightly, though appearing... Um, Though appearing harmless when unchained, Roger can cut with words sharper than steel. There you go. Yeah, I like so. Mm, I guess mm, <laughs> obviously you get never forget. Yeah, it was it was just the numbers before, and it's like, what well, what are we doing? <laughs> what are we doing? We can't do this. Oh, the card, the card. No, I think it was that the damage was nine eleven. Was the damage? Yeah, no, I, I, no, 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 forget. no, no. The ability, the name of the attack was just nine eleven, <laughs> and it's like, what, what is what? Wait, is what? Is what? <laughs> <laughs> that, that is that, that is absurd if considering you, my if background. You... That is absurd considering my background is a skyscraper in that image. What in the world? What makes yeah. you think that so would be? Like, <laughs> I'm trying to let Ricky run with this, but sometimes I look at these cards. It's like, okay, bro, bring it back. Oh, so we're, so we have Uniborn. Oh my god, I, I can't, I can't do everything. Uh, I wanted someone no. to take this. So Ricky's like, no. oh yeah, I got it, bro. I was like, okay, you, cool. you have, you have the power to stop at any point. So you you allowed this, right? <sighs> Clearly, I have been coveted to make changes, but uh, yeah, it's been allowed for now. You thought it was more important for these cards to happen than to make sure someone other than Ricky did them. That's what I mean. That's facts. I mean, oh okay, who wants to do them? No one. Look, hey, if I'm presented with the choice the between these cards is. happening and Ricky doing them, I'm choosing the cards <laughs> not happening. <laughs> yeah, I'm also choosing the cards that happen. <laughs> okay, Ricky, can carry on. Unfortunately, <laughs> carry on. Oh, no, hold on. Hold I do think, I do think it's funny oh, that I'll I'll do them. Do it. Right. Am I getting money for it? Uh, probably not. No. No, I don't. Well, pay, this, this is you this, do this kind is a of you get money from you get money from the merch. I guess it goes into the pot, but I haven't seen a dollar like, from any of this. A dollar? You want a dollar to make? That's my. That's my money too. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Well. Uh, with that being said, I think we're gonna wrap it up here. Oh, one one other thing. We're, oh, one we're in talks okay. of another uh, another like bonus incentive. You order by a certain date. We're not set on that, but basically we'll announce when uh, or if it's gonna happen. But you'll pay attention to like we'll announce on the show incentive. and on the Twitter stuff. Yeah, just uh, probably not something too crazy, but something like hey, if you ordered and this will be retroactive, people are already ordered. But if you ordered before we do the bulk shipments or something, to say thanks for supporting. Well, that's yeah. awesome. All right. Well, cool. Imagine, well, thank this is you. only four of the eleven cards. Imagine what well, the plus, other ones say. Uh, don't we have gosh. the trainers and supports and stuff too? Yeah, there will be other cards. Yes. The, yeah. Like, it's like a whole deck. Dad, it's a whole that one. Yeah. yeah. We're going all out. I don't think we're going to show off the extra cards, but like they. Well, we showed exist. some of them. We showed the Lola Bunny one last time. We showed yeah. my dad. Yeah, we. Well, are we not doing Lola Bunny anymore? No, I didn't say that. Uh -oh. No, no, no. That one, that one is definitely. We're, we're I was like, we're definitely sure. doing the Lola Bunny card for sure. I don't know what the other ones are. I'm not going to leak them. Yeah, yeah. You guys are just going to have to wait and see. So thank you all for joining us again this week. We'll be back uh, in less than two weeks. It'll be two Mondays from now. It'll be. Uh, no, it won't actually. That's a lie. It won't be two Mondays from now. Uh, I actually don't know when the next show will be. If the next show is the 11th of March, I will not be on it. But there might be a Japan time without me. No, they won't. It's over. They won't? Show okay. just ended right now. Okay. So but then, like, on the YouTube upload, cut it right there when I said that. Oh. Okay. Well. <laughs>
With that being said, then, I guess we're going to wrap the show up. Thank you so much, everybody, for tuning in. Greatly appreciate it. Let us know in the comments down below what your favorite announcement from today's Pokemon Presents was. Shout out to all the people who've been watching the shorts on YouTube. The shorts have been popping off on the YouTube channel. If you are not subscribed, Japan Time Podcast on YouTube, make sure you subscribe. We're closing in on 5,000 subscribers, which is lovely. Make sure you join. You can hear Obi in the background cheering us on, saying he wants you guys to subscribe. And if you don't subscribe, then I don't know, then your life will be meaningless. So make sure to subscribe. Thank you all for joining. And we will talk to you guys in two weeks.